Okay, here I am. Hello. As always, I'm starting a little early because um, I'm always convinced that something's going to go hideously wrong with my um, with my setup. So, yeah, it's it's early. Can you guys hear me? Oh, hello. Oh, yes. So I have once again stolen Phil's wizard hat because it's. Um, you know, coming on Halloween, and I really like the wizard hat, and someday I'll get my own. But uh, for now, this is uh, this is the best pointy hat in the house, and we do have a collection of them. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I just I, I started out with this. I will not wear this for the whole stream though, because I am not really a very good hat person. And after a while, I'm like, ugh, there's a thing on my head. Uh, and also because I will be putting on my my little ears, and they don't they don't play nicely with my um, with my hat. So. Uh, Anyway, I am Kaya Folio, and I am one of the creators of the comic book and novel series Girl Genius, and very recently Rain Games, a fine games company in Norway with many fantastic titles to their name, put out a Girl Genius uh, video game, and so uh, they asked me, um, hey, could you start, maybe could you stream the, the demo a little, and I said, Oh, I, I don't know. I've never streamed anything. That that sounds dangerous. And so I scrambled around and learned a little bit about how to stream. And um, <laughs> I, I'm sure that there are many cat ear wizards, and I'm sure that I wouldn't even have to throw a brick to find one in this house. But uh, but yeah, here I am. So um, oh yeah. <laughs> um, Anyway, so I was like, oh, I guess I could try streaming it. And it turns out I really like this and it's a lot of fun. So um, although I am still learning what all to do with Twitch and all of the clever things, um, you guys may notice uh, that uh, I did get the coffee and tea um, uh, e emotes set up uh, and apparently approved since I see the T one right at the start of the chat there. Yay! Uh, and uh, so yeah, that's um, uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing here. I, I am streaming. I am doing now that the game is out and available on Steam and um, and GOG. Dot com. Um, I am playing through it all in a very slow way to um, really get my full playthrough enjoyment of the game in a way that I couldn't really do before it was out because I needed to get through it quickly and in a hurry. I did see that there's been an update uh, and apparently they changed a couple of spelling things and oh my gosh it's so nice of you. I'm, I'm glad you guys are I, I'd love to see your names come back, and um, I, it, it makes me shy, but it's it's very nice. And I, actually, I think I like the hat. I can hide. I can be like, oh, I am a, I am a shy kitty. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll just uh, drink some of this blue stuff. That'll keep me alive. So, um, let's see. What did I want to do before I get started? Um, I have a few minutes. I usually say, well, I'll play at six. And then I usually talk and talk and talk until it's well past six and then go, oh gosh, maybe I should actually stream the game like I said I would. Um, I saved a couple of, I, I did, I get one thing in the mail. I got a thing in the mail yesterday and um, so the, the catalog people, they still think I have small children and it's very funny, but I still get the um, <clears throat> American Girl catalog. <laughs> And I, I'm flipping through the American Girl catalog, and they have um, they've changed a lot over the years, and I don't really follow what they're doing much anymore. Oh, how about that? Uh, but you know, I come across this, and I just I thought I needed to show you guys this because I think it's really funny. This is not Game of Thrones branded, but is does, does are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? It's very cute, and I love the outfit, but it's it's also like. Hmm, I, I don't know, it looks kinda kinda Game of Thrones to me. And oh, is there a naughty, naughty word? Uh oh, no, I think we're allowed to say weirdo. Um Yeah. Okay. I just we're just not aw. It's um 
not nice to call other people that, but it, if we're just chatting, it's totally fine. So just, just don't get salty at each other and it's all good. Anyway, so here's the doll and I thought it was really funny. And after running around the house and showing it to everybody in the house, I'm like, before I recycle this, I, I just have to show it to you guys too. Um, <laughs> So, so, yeah, there she is. And I really kind of dig the silver gown, actually. I kind of want one. Um, so that I thought was very funny. And, and I looked, and it does not seem to be branded to um, any popular, um, popular fantasy series that we might know. So uh, it's still warm in here. I went and... Uh, I went and opened the windows and it's supposed to be October and it's supposed to be cold and I shouldn't have worn long sleeves, but here I am. All right, so uh, let's see, what else did it did it to do? Okay, yeah, I'm getting the catalogs because it's the holidays and, uh, or, I mean, it, it is, it is. It's, it's October season and so they're starting to think about selling us stuff and, and that made me think that um, I should do the thing that I've been meaning to do all these last few years and um, actually get into our incredibly busted website and I mean the, the website works so you can read the comic but it doesn't work very well for all of the little extra things here and there um, for instance we've got a bunch of licensees and our shop page was really like full of old links and people who no longer carry the the licensed goods that they once had with girl genius on it and then i needed to add a couple people and i thought well i need to get in and i need to actually make it nice um and <laughs> and uh let's see okay i'm just making sure that i i don't need to approve anybody again that's all good um <clears throat> i'm still learning to kind of keep an eye on my camera and my chat <laughs> <laughs> and I've got my three giant gamer screens here, so, um, and I recently figured out how to make one tall, like, instead of, instead of horizontal, it's, it's vertical, which is terrific when I'm trying to do webtoon stuff. Um, anyway, um, so what was I saying? My point is that I'm actually trying to, um, you know, change the ads around so that the web, the main web page isn't, like, totally cluttered with ads, which it kind of still is, and sorry about that, but, um... But also, guys, oh my gosh, did you hear that? We have motorcycles. Um, and, um, let's see. Uh, so anyway, yeah, just, just trying to like do some shout outs to, to some of the licensee people. So, um, <clears throat> that, that's been fun. Um, and, oh God, let's see. Oh, it's almost, uh, it's almost there. Almost time to, uh. You know, it hasn't already started. It's just me talking. It's just me going blah, 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 blah. Uh, so anyway, I do have one thing to, to show you because I was uh, looking around for more things to put behind me because I've got all my little stuffed toys behind me. Uh, but this is one. Um, this is a little guy, and he's made by one of our licensees. Hello. And, um, and he's made by Myth and Stitch on Etsy. And so that's one of the, the people that I needed to do a little... Um, I got, I finally got them <clears throat> all hooked up into the whole ad system on the main page so that they get a little bit of love. Um, uh, and I, I just think it's adorable. So this one, um, uh, is now gonna live over here for a bit. And, um, all of my, all of my stuff. And actually now I'm getting, take my, mm, I'm gonna take my hat off. I'm gonna take my witch hat off and put my ears on. So... Let's, uh, which book? What is the book? This book? This, this one here? Um, this is, <laughs> this is, what do we got? It is, um, the Grand Medieval Bestiary, and it's just a bunch of creatures. Well, there we go. So, you can see, and I actually found the section on snails, and so I was, um, I was in the middle of, of reading the bit um, about, about snails in, in medieval manuscripts, <laughs> but I turned the page and there was this incredible, um, I, I don't, I haven't read enough about it yet to know what's going on here, but check this out. We have, we have the, um, oh God, this is heavy. We have the lady in the snail shell here. I, I don't know what she's, ah, this is mirrored. There we go. 
There's that. And then we have this guy, and he's got little feet. And and I love this guy here with his little feet. And the, like, the dogs are apparently not having it. But I think that clearly this was drawn from life outside of Mechanicsburg. Uh, so, so I'm kind of interested to read that part, but I haven't got there yet. Um, and I did very recently cobble together my little my little book stand uh, made of a little writing des desk that I never used and um, a little book stand that I got specifically so that I could turn my little writing desk into a book stand. And um, it, it always feels a little guilty taking a drill to a piece of furniture that, that is actually a quite nice little piece of furniture, but I, I tell myself it's mine and I'm allowed to take a drill to it and Frankenstein on a book stand and make it make it nice. So that's uh, yes. <laughs> uh oh, somebody. Uh, let's see. What am I held a message? Smart detection. What? I, okay, let's allow it and see what it is. Um. I, I don't know. I I don't know what what was being objected to. Um, I guess it's okay. <laughs> uh, chat still continues to befuddle me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I left it on that page specifically because I hit that page and I was like, oh, this is, this is so perfect. I love it. I love all the little creatures in the backdrops of manuscripts and, um, and I love medieval art. And um, so, ah, there we go. Let's see if I can make myself, let's get the ears on, boop, all right. And now it is actually 6.01, and um, so I've got my my little friend here again, Woo! so he's going to sit there and, and keep me honest. He's very heavy. I think I need to make myself a dingbot that I can uh, put on my shoulder or something. This guy is way too heavy. He's machined, so... Um, all right, well, let me get, um, fire this up. Like I said, the, um, I believe that a, uh, okay, come on, come on, Steam, let's go. Um, there was an update recently to the game, but I actually loaded it earlier. So let me hit main game and I have to tell it um, what we're going to capture. So there, that should do it. And um, are you after the cookies? Maybe. Maybe. Well, you, you brought them. They, they should be able to, to eat some cookies just because I grabbed them and took them all upstairs. Um, <laughs> Phil is pillaging my stash here. I right? give those back. Don't tell Victor they're here, he'll eat them all. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. So I'm up there in the corner. Um, let's, uh, let's go. Yes, there are new emotes. And, oh, the lore one is doing some weird stuff. I wonder what's causing that black flicker around lore. Um, it's, huh. fun it's fun to see them in, um, to, to see them in action, though. <laughs> There's like a little chorus line of dingbots coming on. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> okay, so how are we doing? Do we have music? I think I missed the bird again. Um, I, I missed the birds, didn't I? I'm always looking the other direction when the birds go. We had birds. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right, let's make sure. Uh, as always, I've got my little red, um, my little red uh, Xbox controller because the red ones go faster and uh, they don't though it's just a, it's just a controller so you can see that um on the side there's links to like mesver and world to the west and tesla grad um i'm covering up the tesla grad 2 ad because um i had to put my face somewhere on this and um golly uh, Hmm. All right, I guess I'd better get started here. I'm just super distracted. I think um, Phil's got the door open over there, and I'm kind of wondering what he's doing. 
Um. All right. Hold on. Uh. I just enjoy the music and the waterfall. So. All right. So we've been playing for a long time, and um, we're making the YouTube channel scream with these things. Uh, so I think we had just walked into the wheel area. And, uh, so. Here we go. Um, let's see. I wonder if... Okay, I'm all up on coffee. So that's good. Um, I'm going to have to fix that lore emote. That, that is behaving differently than expected. Hmm. Well, I can worry about that later. Anyway. Um, Alright, I can roll and... Ooh, what's down there? Ooh, shiny water. All right. Um, oh, I see. I already opened that. What? This. Okay. I don't remember how much I've done in this area, if any. So yeah, uh, there's a Grill Genius YouTube channel, uh, but so far there really isn't a lot on it. It's mostly just the, um, I can, after I'm done here, I can hit a button and it will port it over to uh, uh, it'll port it over to YouTube so that people can catch it later. Uh, I usually let it wait a while because I know Twitch I think kind of likes you to wait a bit. Um, although again, I don't really. Let's see. A lot of the animated through Twitch emotes have the black particles. Hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, it's from a transparent backed uh, PNG. Uh, which should be okay, but mm, I don't know. Um, Alright, so I'm trying to decide if I want to go back anywhere before I go forward. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of really pretty stuff in here, and I just kind of like being in here. I, I like roaming around. Oh, what happens if I do that? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's... Uh, Let's go over here. Oh, great. So there's some some guys. Uh. Uh, come back here. Oh, and I die. I die immediately. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Oh, no. Oh, and Zola insults me. What an unflattering position. Well, you didn't have much to work with. Boy, I will get you. I will get you. There are apparently a lot of Zola insults um, because they expect me to die a lot, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'll try to pay a little more attention this time. Um, what if I go, hey guys, hey, hey, hey guys, hey, come over here. Hey, come and get me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, shoot, there's one of those guys. Um, ah. All right, and then... Oh, that doesn't do any good at all, actually. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe they'll get bored and walk away. I really want to get that last um, achievement where... Uh, hmm. I want to get that last... <laughs> well, alright. Um, our, our lad here is doing our work for us. Okay, I didn't really mean to do it that way, um, <laughs> but all right. Uh, I, I really wanted to get these guys under the. Oh wait, who's who's shooting at me? Who, who, who? Okay, so there's another. Oh, I see. There he is. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I don't think I can do much about him. What about? Let's see, how does the... Uh, ha! Did that work? Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Very good. Okay, so that was kind of an excessive use of the death ray. Um, yeah, I should have used the wrench ring. I don't know if it would have worked, though. Um, I kind of felt like they were a little bit higher up, but the, the death ray worked, so I don't know. Okay. Um, I really have to be more careful about that. So yeah, if you put the um, if you put the bombs down too close to the wall, they will explode in your face, and uh, that's not good. We we don't like that. 
So here's a. Here's a. Mm, oh, oh, I see. Okay, that is clearly an artifact in the distance. And, well, you know, the only reason that the death ray is excessive is that using it on a little guy like that is kind of annoying because. Okay, so there's an artifact over there, and there's a rock. Can I can I stand on the? Mm. Oh, oh, it worked. That was cool. I mean, it that doesn't do me any good as far as I can tell. Can I get over there? I can't. Um. <laughs> so it's really nice, actually. It isn't more work. Um, we do have a YouTube archive of some of the streams i didn't do all of them but i've been doing this series and i did the the um evening where we we celebrated with, when um kenny from rain games was here from norway uh, i put that one up and then we have the stupid ad that um that my kid here made for the um uh, science fob which was very funny i need to have him make more ads for our, our things because i love the one that he did Hello, make make more ads for my stuff. I'll run out of ways to edit pictures of a cat. I don't care. Nobody gets tired of cats. You can just we can just use the cats over and over again. It'll be funny. It's amazing how Okay. Ah! Hey! I was I was gonna break that. Alright, so I don't think uh, no, I'm not. Okay, so he's bored. <clears throat> Little guy got bored and he's wandering away. But yeah, anyway, the point is that Twitch has, um, like, a little thing where you can say, okay, export it to YouTube, and they'll just do it. Now, with a stream this size, it takes a long time. Oh, okay, so here's a, here's a little pull thing. Oh, okay, okay. So that bridge is down. Good. I thought I, I thought I was going to have to use the ding bot. I guess, I guess not. Mm. All right. So we've got that was that was an easy one. That was that was practically a freebie. Um, yeah, the stingrays using the stingrays to blast the other um, to blast the other enemies is pretty funny. Okay, it is Igneous's left shoe. Oh no, we have lore. We have lore. Lore! Oh, what did I... I never found it. Hang on a second. I have to I have to scream for my kid. Oh, he's gone. I was gonna have a lore bell. I forgot. Okay, ding! It's lore. Pretend I have a bell. Um, so let's see. Here we go. This shouldn't be very long lore. This is... <laughs> Wait, this is the last Patreon ad for one of the uh, art channels I follow literally was just a clip of one of their cats sleeping with the link printed across. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, that, you know what? I'm going to steal that idea. I, I, um, that's a good idea. Yeah, I have cats. They're they're black. They um, text shows up well, and they don't move a lot. Hmm. Okay, I lied. This is a lot of lore. Let's see. It says Igneous's left shoe, the last remains of Igneous Hetrodyne. Presumably wishing to discover something as great as his forefathers, he experimented with the properties of the dime. Most experiments ended with mad screaming and the occasional melting of the control group. Well, I mean, yeah, it's normal. <clears throat> As it seemed, something in the blood of the heterodynes made them more resistant to the powers of the dine, he resolved to experiment upon himself. It remains a secret exactly what steps he took following his ingestion of the undiluted water. Witnesses report that he was enveloped in a column of blue fire. Seemingly unbothered by the inferno, he stated... The universe is open to me. The shape is clear. Ah! He was cut off by aggravated and accelerated fission that tore his body apart. The only remains now in your hand. Hmm. So I guess it didn't work for him. That's too bad. I feel sorry for him. He should have turned into a queen. But it doesn't work for everybody, and I guess it didn't work for him. 
I don't know. I'm just waiting for somebody to turn it into a whole are you worthy thing. Oh, I wondered how I was going to get back. You know, before... Before I go anywhere, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because video games have made me a suspicious person. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Boing. There we go. Um, so... There... Oh, is that... No, that's already smashed. Uh, and I think there was a little guy. There's a cute little guy. Oh, there are several cute little guys. They all wish me harm. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, oh, there's some stuff up there. How do I get up there? I want the stuff. Hmm. What if I go up here again? All right, let's see if the wrencher ring. Let's see if I can remember how to even use the wrencher ring. Um, there we go. Oh, no, that did nothing. The wrencher ring does nothing. Oh, okay. I am too tall for it. Oh gosh, I <clears throat> I just watched a um I just watched a horror movie yesterday. I was having so much trouble with the emotes that I I finally was like, okay, I'm I'm just gonna. Well, that looks cool, but I don't want to go there yet because I want that stuff, and there's a guy. Alright, maybe there's another way to get up there later. Um, hmm. I'm just going to sit there and shoot at me. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, anyway, I watched this movie yesterday um, called Ghost, Ghost Ship, and I watched it specifically because... I read a review that said, well, it, you know, it starts out kind of all, um, oh, here we go. Um, yeah, see, I got there. I'm slow, but I get there. Wait a minute, where's my stuff? Where are my treats? There they go. Um, anyway, it was gory. That, I think I, that's part of where I was going with it was, it, it, it was kind of gory, uh, but Mostly what it had and, the, and what I was there for, is, and I finally, <clears throat> while I was watching it, I realized that there's this, oh wait, hold on, if I get a soundboard, I could program in something for lore. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome, I need a soundboard. Um, yes, the exact right shade of, you know what, okay, rather worrying blue is now, that, I'm sorry, that's now my official canon. Um, that's now my official canon uh, uh, word for for the color that I like to use in Girl Genius. We usually just call it Girl Genius Blue or Heterodyne Blue, but no, it's rather worrying blue now. Um, and, you know, I'll drink to that, so woohoo, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so a sound word, huh? Boy, I need... Um, I need to learn so much. It sounds like there's all sorts of fun little toys. Uh, okay, so what was up here? This is where I was. Can I jump from here? I can. Is there anything else before I jump that I want to do? Like I said, video games have made me suspicious. Okay, I think I'm good. I think. I've been trying to think about what I should stream after I'm done with this, um, because I do like the streaming, uh, but I will at some point run out of Girl Genius until I um, until the Switch one comes out, at which point I'll totally do it all again. Uh, I'll do the Switch version again. Because if nothing else, I'm kind of curious about what will be different. Um, and... Uh, Oh, oh, anyway, right, I was talking about this this stupid horror movie I watched. I actually really liked it, even though the reviews were bad. Uh, but the reviews had said, oh, it's kind of a bog-standard um, haunted house type story. And I was like, oh, sign me up. I am here for bog-standard haunted houses. And I realized what I like about them so much. And it's part of what I like about this game, actually. Um, oh, Psychonauts 2? Oh, that's true, I haven't played it yet. I own it, but I haven't played it because I've been busy. Um, so, 
All right, let's go in here and see what the castle ha has to say. Here's something I can't get through, but it looks really important and super pretty, and I really like it. I love all these Jaeger faces, too. They're so funny. And I have to admit, um, so the, the big face on the front of, um, of Castle Wolfenbach, I'm always like, why is that even there? Why is there a big Jaeger face on the front of Castle Wolfenbach? And the answer is because... Phil drew it like that. that. That's really the answer, is like, Phil just drew it like that. And, um, yeah, I, so, uh, it, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense lore-wise. It's just funny. Um, but Castle Wolfenbach was drawn so early on that, um, that we didn't really uh, think things through that well. Uh, so it's just, yeah, it's just got a big war face. Blah, 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 right, right. Um, okay, so here's the, oh, here's the wheel. Here's the wheel, and here is a thing blocking the wheel, and here's some stuff to break. Oh, that's cool. Um, I really shouldn't be breaking those. They're very important. Uh, but I, you know, I, I think uh, it's nice of the devs to have left stuff for, um, for me to... Uh, yeah. Um, all right. So anyway, this this stupid. Um, I'm going to tell you about this this movie that I watched, Come Hell or High Water. Um, I realized something about what I like in, and it's I like highly textured haunted houses. I like the ability to wander around a fancy mansion or in this particular case it was a luxury liner like the queen mary in fact i was getting i i was at a steampunk convention on the queen mary once and it was so much fun and uh i was getting serious queen mary vibes from this thing uh so that was fun so it was all fancy rich people stuff and you know i mean i i may want a better world for everybody and all the poor of the world but damn do i enjoy some fancy rich people stuff and um you know at least to look at and, <laughs> um oh hello um it, so it's chat calls out first time chats so, so uh so so hello sengir7 and i'm really shy about pronouncing people's names because um with with a name like mine i know that uh, mispronunciations happen and and it feels awkward and that's all i'm just super awkward so anyway like i said i really love the highly textured um haunted house stuff where you can explore uh where uh, where the so i love like luigi's mansion the the video game the first one i haven't played any of the others um but the first one was lots of fun because you're exploring this again this spooky mansion full of ghosts and it's terrific so so I watched this thing and it was gory, but it was also very pretty and, and cool. And, and weirdly, I liked all the characters and was sorry when they died, so, which is also unusual. Um, and also, I'm not usually really one to watch a lot of horror movies because if I watch the wrong horror movie, it will keep me up at night and I will have trouble. Um, I have an overactive imagination, so I have to be really careful what I watch or I will have problems later. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's blow this thing up with our... Um, our, our clank that I'm, I'm going to, you know what, I'll stand back here. I don't want to put it too close. There, there, okay. Oh, there, wheels spinning again. Marvelous job, mistress. I can already feel my currents tingling with renewed vigor. Great, whew, well, I'm beat. Let's get back to Gil and Tarbeck. Uh-oh. Oh, now the whole room is spinning. My lady, you are displaying similar symptoms to your friends. Oh, that's bad. But the plan remains the same. I simply need to hook myself in to be a part of the sea ballet circuit. The process will still work. Oh, I'm sorry, mistress, this procedure of yours. I'm afraid I can't permit that. What do you mean you can't permit it? I'm sick. This will cure me. You cannot die! At least, not until an heir is produced. So so get to it. Right now. Split in half. Oh, I, I can't see that happening in the next five minutes. Enough of this. I'll die if I don't complete the operation, and it's not as if you can stop me. Oh, you're incorrect. Lockdown initiated. Well, there we go. Now we're locked in. 
Fortunately, <laughs> what are you doing? You almost killed me yourself. In any situation where the succession is at stake, I am required to ignore your commands. Whew. You will remain until you've presented a satisfactory solution. Oh, I've already got one in mind. We are done. <laughs> now here's where we're gonna um, see some stuff that kind of deviates from the story, but I like the way they solved everything. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and here's Agatha turning funny colors, which I think is, is hilarious actually. Uh, all right, so this is easy. This is easy. We, we're just gonna put the thing in the thing. There's no, I mean, it gave it to us, so. You know, but it's satisfying to, to move the blocks around. <clears throat> there we go. Warning! Chamber of the Heart compromised. An unauthorized access. Do not enter. A heart? Oh, I'm going in. Alright. So, I guess that's the only way we can go, because I can't get on there. Although I want to. Um... I did have fun riding around on the giant gears in Breath of the Wild uh, in the uh, in the Gerudo. Uh, they're not really dungeons, are they? In the Beastie. <laughs> it's the death ray. Uh, I don't think the castle is thinking very well at this moment. It's it's just sort of it's still broken. All right, here we are in the Chamber of the Heart. And y'all are going to have to bear with me because I get really turned around in here. Um, stay in this locked room until you invent cloning. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> castle isn't doing well. But this is very pretty. And, um, oh, unauthorized access detected. Administrative privilege is revoked. The heterodyne must leave immediately to ensure preservation. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, this does look important. I should probably leave it in one piece. I might have a better chance of fixing it later. Yes, Agatha, you should certainly leave it in one piece. That's a good idea. Um, okay, gosh, let's see which way to go. Let's go over here. Oh, there's, there's, okay, there's one of those. I don't know what to do with it yet, but there's one of those. Um, some stuff to break. I like stuff to break. Things to break are always good. You'd think she'd be a little more careful in her own house, but eh, okay. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, oh. She gone. Mm. Oh no, come back. I want the stuff. Oh no. Ah, so many. And I'm pretty sure these guys will also respawn if I leave the area for too long. Ooh, I want that. Um, but, uh... Rusty Lake games. I don't know what the Rusty Lake games are. Now I'm curious. There's so many games now. I remember I used to get my little magazines and... And, uh... Alright, I don't know. These are here. Let's, uh... Let's do it. I don't know what they do. To be honest, I honestly don't remember what they do. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah? Another on-brand possible game series, huh? Hmm. I was thinking of doing like some of my really old uh, Ratchet and Clank games from the PS2. Power drain detected. Increase in temperature imminent. Estimated capacity for empathy drastically reduced. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't think you had any to begin with, Castle. Did, did I get them all? Did I, did I do all the things? I did. Okay. Um, so let's see. What else? All right, I got the chickens. Is this where I came in? Wait, so... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so Rusty Lake. Something else to remember. Uh I think it would be kind of fun to go back and play some of the games that I played long, long ago when um, when I was first playing a lot of games. Oh, there's that. But, okay, but but there was some stuff back here. Oh, that's loud. There was some stuff back here that I don't feel like I fully explored, so I want to make sure I don't miss anything. 
Ooh, mad sciency and unsettling. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I can... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mm. Okay, will this... No, that doesn't do what I wanted it to do at all. I wonder if this is an optional thing, or if this is something that I would have needed to have done later. I, I don't know, I'm going to do it anyway. There it goes! Whee! That thing looks really cool, but as far as I can tell, it's just... Um, it's just attractive. It's, it's just pretty. Oh, but there's one of our backup portraits up there. So let's go get that. Oh, and there's... Ah, oh, more materials. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I don't think the footprints are new. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to them, but I feel like they've been there. Alright, so here's another... Um, yeah, okay. Another goodies. And I know who this is. This is our friend Mike. <laughs> like, why were you backing our thing? Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, this is Mike Walsh, and he is an ancient friend of ours. And uh, so is very serious. Master mathematician and composer, inventor of the explosive Fourier transform, Michael Walsh. There he is. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I will tell you a, a small a story about Mike that will probably get me in trouble with my family. But when um, uh, when Phil and I were getting married, and we had family in from all over the um, all over the country, and and we were getting ready for the wedding, and Mike and Martha um, came in for the wedding, and at one point they just they just came and got they were like we are going to go get ice cream now, and we all just like piled into the car and just sat there for a moment and then we were just like ah! <laughs> and they were like yeah that, that's why <laughs> we, we figured you'd, you'd need to get away <laughs> we were like ah! it's like yeah we love our family but oh my god weddings blah. and we didn't even do a particularly wild wedding um but it was still you know i am very happy to be married getting married ah! At least there was cake. I love cake. Mm. So, uh, but we had fun. You know, we made a, um, we, <laughs> that's right. You do know who your good friends are. Um, <laughs> so that was, yeah. Um, and then during COVID, um, we, uh, it was New Year's Eve and, um, uh, Mike and Martha called us and they were like, do you realize this is the first New Year's that we have not all spent together in the last 30 years? <laughs> and we were like, oh, God. It, was, it was just one of those weird little moments because usually they come up to uh, visit their family who's up here. And um, yeah, so anyway, for, uh, it was very nice. It was very nice of my, Mike to back uh, the, the game. <laughs> And, and, you know, the, whenever our friends back our Kickstarters, we're like, guys, we would have made sure you got one. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, this wasn't our Kickstarter, though. This was, this was Rain Games' Kickstarter, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. So forgive me when I don't call people out in, in chat much. I, I'm shy about pronouncing everyone's names, and I sometimes forget to look at chat. But I do see names that I recognize that people come back, and that's really nice of you. And thank you. Um, gosh, anyway, so let's, uh, Agatha is turning funny colors, so I should probably, uh, so I got up here, I used the bouncy thing, I got up here, I found our backer portrait, um, I don't think I can get up there, what, oh, here's a, um, here's a switch, uh, that's probably something I should have done, um, I love that blue, what was it, excessively worrying blue, I better write that down or I'm gonna forget. Hold on a second while I go back and chat and find the the right color of blue. Uh oh. Aw, oh, come on. 
There it is. Rather worrying blue. It's official. <laughs> I should figure out what the um what the Pantone color is. I love that um there are Pantone colors that get trademarked for for very good reasons. Um. Uh, but uh, like like Barbie pink. Um, and then I think I remember reading that the blue colors of my doll are trademarked too. It's really interesting, that sort of thing. Oh, okay, so this is just another way for me to get upstairs or downstairs or upstairs and downstairs. What's okay, oh right, so this is where I came from before. So that's just a shortcut. We just opened up a little shortcut. That's good. Yeah. I gotta make sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I, I threw the switch. I did the switch. Um, and then I, I like this green too. It's very pretty. Um, I think they're all very wet or rather worrying. Okay, so here I am, and I've gone about as far as I can, and it is obvious why. Because we need to set Dingbot loose. Um, I have to take a look. So, oh, now that. I've been thinking about how to make myself a Dingbot puppet. And I see the little ball joints. I have some ideas about that. Hmm. Okay. Um, there we go. Put on your hat, Dingbot. There we go. Woo. The flying around. Woo. There. Is there anything I else I need to do? And that's the other thing. When I'm flying, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I had, there's a, a secret in this area that I completely missed, uh, and I was down to, uh-oh, that, that looks suspicious. This looks suspicious. I think there's probably a spider here. I don't know for sure, but I'm, uh-huh, okay, there you are. All right, first let's admire how cute the spider is. Hello, spider, you're so cute. The spider that lives in my kitchen window has gone missing, and I hope that it just went to find... Whoa! There we go. I hope it went to find some better... a better lair. Um, but when Phil was prepping the tomatoes, we um, definitely wanted the spiders around, because the tomatoes were bringing in all sorts of little bugs. Yay! It's the dingbot! Oh... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go through there. Um, all right, so this is where I came in, and I got the treasure. Got that's cute little feet. I love the treasure chest. All right, let's put on a hat. Okay, this might take a little while, or it might not. I might do it all in one go. It could happen. Whee! Ah! Here I am trying to like fly and read chat at the same time. Oh, is that that same artist? I didn't know that. I, I know about the artist who's like trying to get the darkest black. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm afraid whenever I see that person talked about, it's not in um, very kind ways. Uh, but I will say one thing about this, keeping in mind that I don't really know all the details um, and only what I read in, in like magazine articles and things that go past online. So when I was at the university studying art, and it was art with a capital A, make no mistake. Oh no! Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, part of me is suspicious. Is that artist making the attempt to trademark the super black paint or buy up all the super black paint part of the shtick okay and in 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 art we weren't supposed to call it shtick but um but i call it shtick because i am a scum sucking cartoonist and uh and i don't count uh, oh come on no oh, oh i missed it all right um but I know from my interaction with my oh-so-academic professors that sometimes the things that a fine artist says and does 
is kind of part of, we, we will be kind and we will say sometimes it's kind of part of the piece. Sometimes it's part of the, um, the concept. And I kind of wonder if that guy is, is sort of yanking everyone's chain, but artistically, um, in, in a way that makes a statement. I, and, you know, what's really funny is, you know, having taken so many classes from these folks, I could probably sit there and, like, make up reasons why this is, this is brilliant. Um, <laughs> okay, here I am. I, I think I've done it unless I, I make a terrible mistake. All right. Okay, so there's that. There. Um, there's a switch. And now I'm trying to... Alright, so I've opened that. Um, exactly. Um, it is. It is possible. It is possible that it's some kind of. Uh, what do they call it in wrestling? Kayfabe? Is it kayfabe in wrestling? Um, my my kid knows more about wrestling than I do. All I know is um, <clears throat> things that, like if I'm cooking and, and the kid comes into the kitchen and starts telling me <clears throat> funny things about whatever he's been reading about online recently. All right, so wait a minute. So I can't go in there. Is that it? Am I, am I done? Is, is my... Hmm. Okay, let's go back and see what... Yeah, okay, now Agatha can go through the door. Oh, ooh, Agatha had better watch her step. Okay. Um, well, I think I, I I absolutely believe that the art community hates the guy, and from what I've seen, uh, yeah, I believe it. Uh, but I wonder if, what I'm saying isn't that I think that the art community is in on it. I just feel like maybe the artist himself, it, it's a guy, isn't it? Um, themselves, since I don't know, the artist themselves might be kind of yanking everybody's chain a little. That's that's just my my suspicion. Um, I had some pretty wild professors in class. <laughs> I told you about my professor that built a built a personal submersible. Uh, 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 allegedly, my professor who allegedly built a um, a personal submersible and got one of his um, fellow professors out into Lake Washington. <laughs> Which I think sounds like absolute unseen university shenanigans. So I, I can just imagine Rid Cully being like, Why would you not want to go in my personal submersible? Of course you do! Where's your spunk? Get in there! You know? <laughs> oh, golly. Um, okay, so here I am. Um, I've opened up some stuff. Uh, here's a Nimeth hole. So uh, let's, let's set our dig... Okay. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say who it was just in case it's not true and just in case I get in trouble because I'm still afraid of my professors and I don't want to get in trouble with them. Uh, <laughs> um, but I do, um, although I, I certainly was a pain when I was in those classes, I adore the memory of every one of them. And, uh, and look back on them with fondness. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the, the thing about the submersible is actually a rumor that I heard. Um, oh, goody basket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh, and some of those delicious blue things that we need. Okay, wee. Um, what was I saying? Right, it's actually a rumor that I heard while I was riding the airporter to, um, to a convention. I, I was on my way somewhere and one of the other passengers was someone who worked in the art department and started telling me these stories about um, this professor that I had had and I was just like, I can well believe this. This is amazing. It was, it was terrific. <clears throat> Okay, so there is, okay, I, I know I, I said it before, but there's a thing. Let's do this one first. Um, oh my gosh, this looks, this looks rough. Uh, uh, ouch. <clears throat> yeah, 
I don't know. I don't think that I want to. <coughs> and now we've actually had the. Oh, access to primary systems lost. Rerouting power from bird babs. Bird satisfaction plummeting. Oh, okay. The birds are sad. That's too bad. Uh, where did that giant mechanical mon flamingo come from? Do they do they try to, to, to damage the bean? Um, so when I first started going to conventions, um, they were of course. Hello, darling. What do you want? Do you want to come up here? Of course you do. Um, all right. Hold on. Cat break. Ah, let me. Whoop. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna be nice, Percy. You have to say hello to the nice people. Yes, this is this is the tax. Look look at the camera. Oh, he doesn't want to. Oh, he just wants to be here. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, if you're gonna come and sit in my lap, you have to say hello to everyone. Um, all right. Back to the main game. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is Lord Percy Percy, and he is um, okay. He's a good boy most of the time. Isn't that right? And we will probably never see his brother because his brother is afraid of the moon. So, uh, yes, okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, I'm, okay, I'm going to go back to Agatha just for a minute and uh, try to figure out did. Oh, we lowered some platforms. Okay, nice. In there. And I see in the distance... Oh, I guess that isn't a backer portrait. That's some paintings. Um, okay, um, what, what are we doing here? Uh, that's where we came in. Um, there's Mike over there. Hi, Mike. Um, there's... All right. Oh, all right, all right. Here is the thing. Oh, are you gonna leave? Okay, bye bye. Um, <clears throat> okay, so look right ahead past that. Okay, through the window, through the bars of the window, there's a treasure chest up there. And I want it. And I missed it. So I, and, and then because I had done some stuff, I had trouble getting back. So there's Stingbot down there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to miss that again because it was such a nuisance. Such a nuisance to get back. Uh, although I did eventually do it. Ho ho! Here I am. Um, okay, wait a minute. So. Here and then okay, I don't think I can get there. You can't get there from here. Hmm. All right. Um, what if I go here? What if I send the Dingbot into this room? Hmm. Can the Dingbot pull the? Oh, Dingbot can pull the lever. Very good. Very good. So now before I go anywhere else, I can go here. And there is a backer. Here's one of our backers. Oh, I missed the lab. Don't press the red button. Or maybe it's the blue one. Anyone got a coin I can flip? Uh, Peter Alexander Castro. <laughs> push them both. It's fine. What could go wrong, right? Just, just push the buttons. Push all the buttons. Um, here are some more of these lovely chairs that make me want to redecorate my house. Although I want to redecorate my house anyway. Um, oh, there's that... Um, what is he from? Was he a statue? I think he was a statue somewhere. There's Franz. There's Franz sleeping on his pile of treasure. Um, and, uh, let's see. <laughs> um, oh. 
every so often I have to um, goose my... Um, so I'm, I'm using the red Xbox controller, like I said, and um, although it does go faster, it also sometimes needs a goose from my mouse because um, I'm supposed to be using a mouse. But I really like my, my Xbox controller. Oh no, there he is! I, I didn't realize that one of the Jaegers made it in. It's General Zog. General Zog, whose legs ended up really weirdly long in that car a deck of cards. Um, I have to ask James. I don't think James has that poker deck up on drive through and he really should. So I need to ask him about it. Note to self, ask James Ernest uh, over at Cheap Ass Games what happened to the Jaeger poker deck. Um, <clears throat> let's see. The castle is slightly obsessed with bird baths right now because, uh, come on you, um, because it's not doing very well. Okay, I can't jump down there. I would hurt myself, but um, oh, I love this furniture. I want, I want furniture. The cat, uh, okay, Bobo the cat who is afraid of everything. I peed on the couch cushion to the point where I have to get it, I have to get a completely new couch cushion. So our couch currently doesn't have, um, yeah, he's not a very smart kitty, <sighs> but, um, yeah, so later I have to go find, I don't know, a block of foam or something and, and get a, an upholster to make me a new couch cushion. This is a really nice couch. It's, it's very pretty. It's an, it's an antique, um, but yeah, so anyway, I should, uh, enough about my gross house. Um, I should definitely, what, who, hey, oh no, 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 ah! Ah, okay. Whew. Um, oh, there's another one. I hear it. Oh, okay. Um, alright, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of you, and oh no, it's one of those guys. Um, ugh. Okay, come on. Why, why is it? Oh, because I'm on the wrong... <laughs> I can't use my power lantern if I don't have my power lantern equipped. <sighs> oh, clumsy me. Um, there we go. Okay. Whew. Okay. I don't want to do this yet. Because... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There. Let's get all of these guys. Okay. He's gonna come after me. I, I can't understand what he's saying. Or even if I'm supposed to understand what he's saying. Uh, he might not be saying anything. Oh, I'm going to need to, um... Ah! I'm definitely going to need to upgrade my, uh... My co or not upgrade, but refill my coffee soon. Hmm. I know I could use the death ray on him, and maybe I should. There. That was satisfying. It probably wasn't necessary, but it was satisfying. Um, I too would like giant gears lying around my house. Oh, this was worth it. Hmm, can I get up on those? I don't think I can. I think the scaffolding's just for show. So yeah, my friend Payne, um, who <clears throat> the, the stage magician, um, he collects unusual playing card decks, although I don't know that he's like trying to get every single one that exists ever, because gosh, there's a lot of them. And then somebody did, um, quite some time ago, there was a steampunk one that I got to be one of the queens in, which was lots of fun. Um, Alright, I don't want to leave... I don't want to leave yet, because... Um, oh, I remember what happened. It was that I got... Um, I got in here and I couldn't get... What's that? Is that something I can break? Okay, I, I probably don't need to break that, but I, I want to. Um, ah! 
Alright, I guess that wasn't really important. Nah, it was just a spare a spare rock. Hmm. Any place any any mammoth falls? Any um no. Alright, I think I got everything that was in here, I think. Yeah, looks like it. So on my short list of projects to do is I want to do a tarot deck and I want to do it um, with, okay. No, no, no. Uh, um, I figure I'll do, I'll try to find art that we already have and put it together. Um, okay. Well, if I missed the, it was, it was that I couldn't get back in this room. It was that I had missed something and I couldn't get back in this room. I mean, I eventually found the way to get back in this room, but it drove me crazy and I was running all over the place. Um, so I'm going to try not to have that same problem. Oh, you know, you're allowed to talk about Cripple Mr. Onion. It's fine. Um, again, just don't be mean to people and it's all good. Um, Cripple Mr. Onion is a card game from Discworld and uh, Granny Weatherwax is quite good at it. Um, okay, wait. There. Yeah, I have to keep an eye on chat and make sure that, um, it doesn't say, No, you're being awful! You're, you're clearly bullying each other! No, we're not, we're not, we're not. Okay, there's a switch up there. Um, and there's a, a one of those up there. Um, a bridge, and... I think there's anything else to do. I, I'm just so paranoid in here now because I remember that I got myself into things. So is it the Discworld Emporium? Do they make the Cripple Mr. Onion decks? Um, because, oh my gosh, the Xenophile set. Oh, ouch. Um, yeah, I, hey, hey, there's stuff in there. I want that too. Okay, okay. So clearly I need to go upstairs and see what I can do. <laughs> Agatha's funny. She's like, yeah, she's really sick, but she's gonna gonna explore everything anyway, because you know we might miss an we might miss a collectible, and that would be terrible. Uh, oh, okay, I can do this. Um, all right, all right, good. And then you can see that there's that there's that bridge. And I think out of the corner of my eye, I saw a mammoth hole up there. I think I saw it. Um, so yeah, anyway, there's no possible way. Oh no, somebody subscribed. Oh, hi, Corgi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, so we have a goodie basket here. Uh, so there's no possible way, I, I think I was saying, that I am going to get, um, uh aha, -huh, I knew it was around here somewhere, that I'm going to get Phil to draw me a completely, um, a completely new tarot set anytime soon. Although I could maybe get him to do the Major Arcana. Um, Moxana's is completely different, and so if I ever do a Moxana one, I'll just make something up. It won't even be, it won't even be Tarot. It'll just be um, something weird and unique to, uh, to Girl Genius because um, that's what I want to do. Uh, and, it, and because I feel like it's, it's its own weird thing. Okay, so before we have Agatha come up here and go through that, wait, let's, let's do a little scouting. That is what the Dingbot is good for. The Dingbot is good for scouting because, uh, wait, oh, is this the way we came in? This sure looks like the way we came in. Um, oh yeah, nah, this is this is just all right. No, it's fine. This is, uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, the point is that I can absolutely cobble some stuff together with art we have that I think would be an interesting style challenge and would be really fun to try. And so I, I kind of want to do it. But, you know, it means that I have to take time out from all the other 10,000 things I'm supposed to be doing. Um, all right, let's go in. I just, I love this. It's so pretty. Look at this room. I don't want to cause trouble. I want, I would, I, I yearn for mayhem. 
I don't think I get to cause mayhem in this room. Um, and here is that, here's the treasure chest that I saw from a distance, but I know that there is more going on. There's more to do, and oh, it's so pretty. I love that blue. That's one of my favorite colors is that blue. I know World of Warcraft is also very fond of that blue. I, I see it used there a lot. Um, it's probably one of the reasons I like it so much. Okay, all right, so what's over there? What's over here? How do I get to the place? Um, so there is absolutely um, a Dingbot Sergeant around here and I am trying to remember how to find them. Um, wait, is that, is that, what is that? No, that's, that's in there. I know they're here. I know they are. I know they are. Um, because I had so much trouble finding them last time. Have I just come to a place where, it, no, okay, good. Hmm. All right, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit while I monkey around trying to figure out where... Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. But I don't want to do it yet. I want to... Where, 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 where? Um... Harrow. Harrow reminds me of the book I haven't got to reading yet. Okay, there it is. Yes, there is the other uh, Digbot Sergeant. Oh, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Hmm. I'm partway through Gideon the Ninth right now. And it's really good. And I really like it. And, um, and I better hurry up and read it because my kid wants me to send him the, um, the series and then I know I'll, I'll have to get my own copy if I... Oh, oh no, this isn't right. All right, let's 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 head back to Agatha. It really is good. It's so funny. And um, I, I just, I don't know, I'm really liking it. I love the way it's written. Um, wait. Eh? Eh? Oh, there's Agatha. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, maybe we can hitch a ride. Okay, so Dingbot opened that door, I, I think. I am going to. <laughs> books, books you've given people, they, they've thrown at your head. Oh no. Uh, maybe I'd better not ask because I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> Um, but I'm pretty sure from everything I've heard from folks that I won't be mad at the end uh, because I, I everybody seems really happy with the series. So I, I, I believe in I believe in the uh, the greater rumor verse. I, I don't know. Um, all right, seriously, how do I get? Don't tell me. I'm not actually asking. Um, I'm just like I want. Maybe I have to solve this puzzle first. I'll solve the puzzle and then maybe I'll be able to find, oh. Yeah, I'll just solve this puzzle. That'd be easy. Mm. Okay. I like that this one has all these little in, um, I was going to say, I like that it has all these little in-between spaces where I can hide, but you have to be really precise about them or you end up getting shocked anyway. Oh, now that should not have shocked me. That Hmm. Okay, one more. This looks, um... Does this look easy or does this look hard? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I, ended up, I bought Gideon the Ninth because my kid wanted to read it and I have always, always been like, if you want a book, I will buy it for you. I, that is just, that is the rule. That is the law. Please don't ask for um, a Gutenberg Bible. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but generally speaking, you know, um, I am always happy to buy books. And so, aha, that should do it. Mistress, 
Why is it so dark? Uh-oh. Oh no! I feel like a monster at this point. I don't like this part. Ugh, quiet at last. Yeah, enjoy it. Now I've got to find a way out of here. I can't afford any more distractions. <laughs> Alright, so... There's the way out, but we're not doing it yet. Because... <laughs> I have heard that. I have heard that um, that they're all that all the Gideon the ninth books are all the the, the ninth the ninth the ninth the ninth. Um, they're all sitting around my house, so I will get to them. Um, okay, I want that Dingbot Sergeant, and I know I can get to them. I just don't remember. So, um, so I am going to do some little dingbot adventuring. I think I want to build my own. I need a dingbot to certain specifications. Um, and the biggest challenge, I think, is short of carving it out of wood or something which I might, I'm looking at him and I might have to do because of the way those little arm joints are in. Okay, no, am I going the wrong way? Where did I see that little guy? He was, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there. Okay, so I'm going to go, all right, now I'm going to have to um, just, all right, let's go back to Agatha. There we go. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, I've heard that they're from different characters' points of view, and so that some of them get a little weird. And I kind of, I have to admit, I'm kind of here for the weird. Um, all right, so I want to be up there. How am I going to get up there? Hmm. Hmm. This is probably not it. Okay, I remember that my problem was that I had got far enough ahead in the game that I couldn't get back to this area the regular way because this bridge is down, and I couldn't reach this power um, globe to bring that bridge down, so I was stuck. Uh, but... Uh, ah, so pretty. Okay. Hmm. Maybe get up there. And I remember that I was really frustrated because I couldn't get back to this area. Oh my goodness, let's see. Um do 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 uh, Alright. What am I seeing up there? Is it a door? Is it... Can I fly up there somehow? I don't think so. Hmm. I had to come back. So the, the what I was saying is I couldn't get here. I couldn't get here the usual way. Um, and... So I had to come back through this door. Which took me forever to find. I, I just couldn't I just couldn't find it. Um, what if I what if I do this? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that did anything. Um, hey, don't tell me! Oh my gosh, you guys! Um, so, did it do it? Oh no, you told me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> I know that is the hard part with watching other people play games. It really, really is. Is you're like, oh, you know, you're like, oh no, they're they're. Do, 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 do. 
You're like, ah, oh, you're going the wrong way. How can you be so stupid? Stop that. That's not what I meant to do. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Step away. Oh, there's this area in um, World of Warcraft and the newest thing where if you go through a portal and then you push your button wrong, you'll go back through the portal and you're like, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, no, this isn't it. Let's try this one. <laughs> what did I make a mistake? Ah, you guys. Okay. Mm. Well, that isn't it. That isn't it. All right, go back. Go back. I'm trying really hard not to look at chat right now because I know you're, you're like you're gonna tell me how to do it. Just hate having puzzles. That that is going to be a problem if I want to um if I want to stream a bunch of puzzle games. Now, fortunately, I, most of the games that I've played. Um, no, hello, that doesn't work. Okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. Yep. All right. So this is. What you're seeing here is my last Dingbot, not my last Dingbot this playthrough, but the last Dingbot that I had to find in my previous playthrough. And I think it looks like it has little Wellingtons, which are very cute. Um, I like that it has little wellies. Oh, what's that little Dingbot? You want to return to the hub? Strange. Well, all right, I'll take you there when I can. Well, it goes there anyway, doesn't it? make sure once again we must admire the uh the little treasure chest because it is very cute you know i never found the mimic if there's a mimic i never found it all right mm. now i can i can look at chat again oh hello <laughs> oh we've got new people hello hello all right so let's just Oof. Back to Agatha, who, yeah, you know, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, okay, uh, let's go back upstairs. Can I still go back upstairs? It should be fine. And now I probably don't need to come back to this area again. Like I said, oh my gosh, the hours I spent running around trying to find the other side of this door. Blah. Um, and I do like this room, and it is worth coming back to. It's very pretty. Um, now let's see what happens. Uh, oh. Uh, and Milo on coffee. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I, uh... Hmm. All right, this this might cause some harm. Like that. Ah. Okay. Um. Uh. Hmm. There's probably a clever way to do this, but I don't know it. So. Hmm. Ah. Ah. All right. I think this is a fine point for me to go get some coffee. So I am going to pause just for a minute. Um. <laughs> How can I forget this passage? Oh, it's the spider. All right, you guys, I'm going to be right back. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm, I'm going on a cup.
that's interesting. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Can I have my coffee? So, oh yeah, and I got, um, the, it's, the Halloween stuff is all in stores, so I got a really good large, um, sort of leafy kind of goblin-y mug mm. that holds a whole lot of coffee and is really nice because, um, this stuff, um, I'm, I'm using up the kind of nasty coffee, and um, so it needs a lot of uh, needs cream in it. Uh, usually, I do I drink it black, but this stuff is not not great. Mm. It needs to be used up. I was trying to get this really good stuff from Australia, uh, and it, it turns out they've changed the <laughs> they've changed the formula. So I ended up with like a bunch of Nestle coffee. Nestle's evil anyway, but uh, it was stuff that I liked when I was down there, and. I don't know. It's not so great now. It serves me right. Let's see. I got my ears back on. Did I ever turn my lights on? Are my little lights on? Oh, there we go. Now my lights are on. But yeah, it's a really good shape. And um, aside from the fact that it has little like nuts and leaves, and it's it's absolutely like a little squirrely thing. And um, and it's it's stable and it doesn't get too hot in the microwave and i kind of wish i had bought more than i did but they only had a couple it's it's just the halloween section you know so they don't have a lot in there oh. they're like here you go here's some some halloween stuff um we'll have it for about five minutes and then we'll have the christmas stuff <laughs> so mm. Anyway, okay, so that's good, and then as soon as we can, we will go back to the um, to the hub and actually get Agatha some coffee too. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh yeah, right. Before I, um, I've got I've got the candles all over, it, so I have to be careful. But before I do anything else, I'm going to show you all my my little book um, my little book stand because I'm really pleased about it. So it, is it showing? Um, Okay, yeah, that's the problem is that there's a delay here. Oh, and that's, I just realized my webcam is busted and I'm using the computer one. So I guess I really can't show you my book stand very well. But it's one of these things from, like, um, it's got little, can, can you see it all right? I guess. Eh, you know what? I'll have to do it some other time. It's a little rolling thing. It's it's one of these little jobbies from um, the like design Toscano, and it's supposed to be like a captain's desk, and it's not really working. Uh, I need to get my webcam fixed so that it can be picked up and waved around the room properly. Um, but oh well. So back to the game. Yay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it was just the, the it was it was the Walgreens. It was the um, 
Oh my goodness. We've got another subscriber. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, okay. I need, I, I definitely need to go look up one of these little soundboards of which you speak. And, um, and, um, figure out some, I'll bet I could do some fun stuff with something like that. I think I broke my, um, my coffee graphic. I made it a mammoth interlude and, uh, it's so, uh, it wasn't showing you Van. Um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out. I think I'll play with my settings later. Um, I really want to make um, some funny little music for the Mimith interlude, though. So I, I was like, well, I should really sit down with the GarageBand tutorial at some point and actually learn how to use it. All right, so we have come into a new room, and it's very—it's got lots of blue steam, and it's very pretty, and a very high ceiling. Let's don't look up; it's scary. Uh, and a lot of this green stuff. So now we know who was stealing all the green slime. Uh, and oh, that's too bad. Uh, yes, yeah, that's that's what's happening here too. Is that you get you get like the Halloween section, like up at Walgreens. They will do, they'll have like two of each thing, and the really cool stuff gets, you know, bought right away. And then it's gone, and, and then they're like, well, all right, we sold you some Halloween stuff, what? And I'm like, oh, come on. Um, when we were taking my kid around, uh, when we dropped him off at school, oh, oh, cutscene, back in the castle. But how do I get back to the Red Playroom? Lucrezia, you, you rat, finally returned to your nest. What? Who are you? Hi? <laughs> Do not pretend, traitor. You have changed, but I recognize your your voice. I've never... Did you say Lucretia? That is... was my mother's name. My name is Agatha Hetrodyne. I'm the master of this castle. I, I, I will be the judge of that. Hey, I've already been recognized by the castle before I... No. You have not, not yet, even in this miserable shell. I remain the true castle heterodyne. Restore me to my rightful structure, and I might find you worthy of the name you claim. This again? Uh, you do sound a bit like the castle, but I thought I'd shut you down. Only a fragment of my backup system, useless and scared without my guidance. When I am restored, I, I shall retain the memories from all my systems. Hmm. Are you able to access these systems? I need it for a, a procedure. Let's, yes, let's not tell anybody what we're doing, Agatha. It's probably good. It's, yes, but this vessel is weak and trapped. Release me, and I, I, I can help you. I can't do the Max Headroom voice properly. <laughs> How can I be sure you won't just attack me? Your backup system wasn't always cooperative. I have no, no use for you damaged. This clank body is weak. Remove its head. Ah! Then bring it to the library. There I will be able to merge with my true structure. Re restore me. I was going to the library, but first I need to help my friends. Do you know how to reach the Red Playroom? We will go together this way. Ooh, there we go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> when we have the uh, once more into the fray. But first, oh, and now we have a head. We, we, we just, we've just got it. This clank is masterfully crafted, and it looks familiar somehow. It can't be one of Van Ryan's muses. You are correct. 
Lucretia needed a vessel capable of hosting our artificial consciousnesses. She, she shunted the other intelligence and c contained m me within a fishbowl compared to the, the ocean I used to inhabit. Oh, we got some lore. I had not read this bit before. At least I don't think I had. Um, but I did get all the lore, I think. All right, actually, I have no idea if I checked this before. So, yes, we got lore well called. Um, so, let's see. There's stuff to break and lore to read and exploring to do. Are we just going to get the same thing again? Oh, yeah, no, it's the same thing again. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not going to read it all again. This is already bad for my throat. Um, oh, Mimeth Hall. Um, what else is in here? Ooh, doors. Stuff to break, stuff to break, stuff to break. <laughs> I, uh, that is an uncomfortable thing to imagine, the, the head hanging off of Agatha's belt. She's already got the power lantern banging around there. I think the head would be pretty gross. Um, let's see. Okay, there was a mimeth hole, um, the creepy pistons. Oh, oh, here, this is useful. We have, um, uh, let's see, what else? Am I almost done? I can upgrade the wrench ring. What else? Is, is the wrench ring upgrade the last thing? I think it's the last thing. Trying to mimic the flight of a boomerang, Agatha added magnets and a polarizing oppositional magnetic field to her wrench. We've read this before. This caused the wrench to be inherently indecisive so that after it is thrown, it will neither fall nor rise. And after a certain distance, we'll think better of the whole escapade and return to Agatha. Um, oh, next upgrade. A fully charged throw consumes one energy and becomes electric. Stunning enemies. Yeah, if only I were better at using the wrench ring. Sure, let's upgrade anyway. Um, and then I think, I think that is all of our upgrades. I think. Yeah, no, looks like, looks like I have upgraded everything. Oh, and we got an achievement. All right, let's check out the lore and that achievement. So first, let's go see what the achievement was. Oh, was that, that was, was that the last Dingbot sergeant? The Dingbot is pulling my leg. I think it wants to go to a certain area. Maybe the hub? Return to the hub. I guess I must have, no. Huh. I thought there were a couple more to get. Let's see, so what what did we get? I can't see what the new achievement is. There it is. Modular Marvel. Build all modules for your weapons and tools to their highest tier. Why be great at one thing when you can be great at all the things? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Wait, is there another achievement? Did I miss another? Oh, in need of support. Destroy a shield clank that is currently shielding three or more enemies. Okay, so I got that. And then I think we had some lore. So let's see. Miscellaneous. Otelia. All right. Otelia, one of the nine muses. Masterworks of the great Spark Van Ryan. Oh, I forgot. Lore, ding! Okay, that's that's the lore bell. Ding, 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 ding. Um, next time I'll have a better lore bell. <laughs> Although we might be getting to the end. I don't remember how much more of this there is. Um, while most are lost to time and the experiments of curious sparks, some have remained intact. They were created as a gift for the Storm King, providing both inspiration and advice. Now, years later, their construction remains a marvel, but their purpose is seemingly lost. Agatha has already encountered a couple in her travels, but Otelia is here only in body. At some point, Lucretia got hold of the muse and replaced her consciousness with a piece of Castle Heterodyne. The castle was not happy with its new residence. No, it definitely wasn't. Okay, I think that's all the lore. 
Oh, uh, love that chair. Oh, oh, what's this? I'll bet it's more Weasel Queen. No, it's Lucretia's notes. The procedure is a success. No surprise there. What came as a surprise is that the consciousness of the old muse survived as well. This has some fascinating implications. I think my theory on the similarities of non-organic consciousness is all but confirmed. I'll even find a new home for the old thing. We are in need of a new nanny. All right. Let's see. Uh, there was a mammoth hole. There was a mammoth hole. Oh, golly. Hang on a second. It's really cold in here. Um, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. And, um, oh, I think my, I think my cat ears keep going off. I, it, the battery's probably low. I'll have to plug it in and recharge it when the time comes. Okay, let's go back to the main game. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought that, um, he only wanted to go back at the last sting bot. I'm just a little I'm just a little bit boozled because um, I thought there was one coming up in an area I haven't been to yet and I guess that that's not the case but we are going to go in here and oh 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 this is nice we can actually get up close and admire this lovely canister it's very pretty and oh or we can just run right through the door too that's fine um, okay see spider webs but I don't see any place to worry oh what's this what's this oh all right I don't I wonder what was up there I want to see what was up there before I pulled it so um, you know, you have to forgive me for exploring a little bit so what's going ah electricity there's there's electricity up there so we're supposed to fly up here, take a look at that, and go, oh, no way, which is what I will now do. I just like to see the electricity. Yes, our weather did, in fact, uh, it just suddenly started to be cold and rainy, and it's amazing, and I, oh, I'm so happy to have the rain back. I. Um, I, I am I am born and raised in this area, and uh, too much time with no rain is, frankly, upsetting. <laughs> uh, it's it is uncomfortable. We we duck people like the wet, like the wet. Um, I'm up in Seattle, by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, the game does some little um, interesting choices with um, with the story that I thought were very clever. And in a couple of cases, much, much more satisfying. Um, but you'll see. Uh, it's, okay, so I opened that. Um, let's see, so I, I turned off the electricity over there and I opened that drawer and I'm just going to kind of look around and make sure. Yeah, all right, I think everything's good. Oh boy, oh, uh-oh, uh. All right. <laughs> oh, cat rave! <laughs> cat rave! Oh, my, uh, my, my, my ears keep going off. Yeah. Oh well. They all, they're not gonna stay lit. Uh, okay. Here we go. I <laughs> love the cat rave. It's so cute. I need to learn to animate the, the little animated GIFs. I found a tutorial, but um, it kind of defeated me. I ran out of time before I managed to um, get anything animated. So, uh, what am I doing? All right, so there's, 
Okay, there's the room down there, and that means Agatha's around there somewhere. Not sure where I left her. Where's Agatha? I don't know. Okay. No, that's where I came in. Um, oh, I can go in there. I can go in there. What's in there? I thought there was a Dingbot Sergeant in here. I guess not. There's an... Oh, but there is... Oh, look at that. It's a slaver wasp head. It's pretty. And it's sparkly. We will pick it up and we got some lore! Ding! Lore! Um, and this treasure chest. Treasure chest. Mmm, more of those blue things. Do we even need them anymore? I don't think we do. Not really sure. But we got another artifact. Yeah, and we got some lore. Let's find the lore. Lord, ding, 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 ding. Oh, wait. Wasp head. The carapace of a warrior wasp. Possibly an early prototype, as Lucretia was yet to take the moniker of the other. Uh, yeah, it would be a heck of an early prototype. Agatha has fought these creatures before as they emerged from the hive engines aboard Castle Wolfenbach. Terrifying creatures, but still lesser evil compared to their cousin, the slaver wasp. A swift demise at the end of their razor-sharp prongs is surely preferred to a, in lieu of mindless servitude? I, I don't know. I might take the mindless servitude because it gives hope, but we'll see. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. I put way too much cream in it. It's delicious. Um, all right. And now I'm just going to run. No, no, I can't. I can't run back to Agatha. Oof, I don't think. Um. <laughs> really? Down in San Diego? I don't remember it raining in, during Comic-Con weekend, but I do remember one Comic-Con where I was so cold and I hadn't brought any of the right, um, any of the right uh, gear at all. So I ended up buying down in the, um, in the Hilton, um, like in the Hilton gift shop, they have like a little store down in the basement of the Hilton, and I end up getting a, a red t-shirt or a red a red sweatshirt that says that says San Diego. <laughs> so it's my souvenir of San Diego. Uh, yeah, mind control is horrible. I just but but it seems like there's a chance that somebody might be able to cure you. Not that we've had it yet, but I like to think that you know. Um, I'm gonna go stand in this even though there's no good reason to. Um, oh look, here we have a little time travel again. It's a shot of, um, it's, uh, it's Mechanicsburg all under the, the time bubble. Uh, so, we're gonna see a lot more of that soon. I'm excited about that. Um, oh, that's, uh, Van Rijn's laboratory underneath, uh, the, the Paris, um, library. Um, uh, yeah. Oh! Oh my goodness! I almost... Oh no, I would have had to go that way. Okay, good. I, I thought, oh my gosh, I almost missed a backer portrait. Oh, that would have been terrible. Hey! We found Lucretia's secret lab, uh... <laughs> and a portrait of our favorite librarian here. Hello! There she is! Um, all right. Oh dear, what happened to this person? I can tell you what happened to that person. They didn't give us a picture. <laughs> this is another one of our backers from whom we did not get a, a, a photograph. So they get to be the cool invisible man here. Or the invisible person, anyway. The path to enlightenment is redacted. Doc Matoy. All right. So there we go. This is... Uh, Oh, you're 23. You can see Phil barely got some of these done. It's because we were waiting until the last minute. Maybe this is the mimic. Are you the mimic? Are you my mimic? There was a children's book called Are You My Mother, right? Let's just do Are You My Mimic. Are you my mimic? No. It's like, like where is my cow? Where is my cow? Is that my cow? It goes buttering. Millennium hand in shirt. It is foul run. It is not my cow. Uh, 
Oh, that's been a while, hasn't it? Hmm. It's been quite a while. We had that when my kids were small now that I think about it. Oh, golly. I feel old all of a sudden. I don't know. Um, time for coffee. All right, I'm going to go back to the hub because I want to turn in... I wanted to turn in those um, artifacts that we found. Oh, and, and the Dimbot wants to go back to the hub. Oh my gosh, let's go back to the hub. Ah, but look how much we filled in the, um, the, the map there. There's lots of stuff going on in the map now. It's terrific. Okay, let's go back to the hub. So exciting. If you ever feel like the world is out to hurt you, rolling will make you invulnerable to damage for a short period of time. A very, very short period of time. Here we are. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, Agatha's going to work. Okay, sure. She's going to work. She's funny colors, but she's going to work. Oh, no! What's that? What was that? Oh. oh. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> those little critters up to now? an eye on that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there they go. Oh, we achieved it. We got an achievement. Well, the, oh, and they gave us lots of presents. Oh, and it's locked again. Well, all right. Let's see. We have a little crown. We are we are very important to Dingbot. <laughs> now it won't listen to us at all. Oh, it's so worth it. And now, here we are. I'll bet it doesn't do any good. Yep. Alright. So they're all here. There's there's not the beast. Um Yay. Oh, hey guys. And ta da! We can sit on the throne. <laughs> we can sit on the throne. It's a, a minor satisfaction. There we are. Oh, they're so cute. All right. Oh. Let's see. I think that we already. Hey guys. So, we already, yeah, we've already been up there. All right, then I am not going to worry about it anymore, but golly, sitting on the throne is satisfying. I spent so much time wanting to sit on the throne. A crown is required, even for a king that is tired. Oh, we have to be wearing the crown. There we go. All right. <laughs> I love how smug this, this, this Jingbot. <laughs> All right. That was fun. It is important. It is important. Um. <laughs> okay. So. Um. Oh, hello. Percy, you're back. All right. Yeah, I don't know if he'll actually come up here, but he kind of... Oof, yes. Okay. So the problem... All right. Yep. Cat tax. Um. Hold on. I know y'all have seen Percy already, but, you know, here he is again. Here he is again. Percy, look. Look at the camera, boyo. Oh, see, there he is. He's like, why do you do this to me? This is stupid. You're dumb. Yeah. But he's relaxed. Uh, you want to stay up here? Okay. There we go. Now we'll go back to the game. 
Okay, now I'm going to go turn in, okay. I'm going to go turn in those, um, oh, my nose is turning red, it's all that caffeine. Ugh. Um, I'm still, I'm not back at the game. It's, I, I can't go, it's not enough to, it's not enough for me to go back to the game. There. Um, I know, it's dark in here. He's, um, okay. I have some new artifacts. Ah, the self-satisfied grin of plunder. I assume you have artifacts for me, my lady. It's not plunder if it technically belongs to me. Let me have this, mistress. Sure. I bring forth the spoils of war. Oh no, I scared him away. Oh, Percy. Oh. <laughs> oh well, he'll be back. <laughs> He didn't like it when I yelled. Okay. I didn't yell that loud. All I have left to do is upgrade the health. Oh, it looks like we have two more two more artifacts to find. Oh, and one of them is that hard one. Hmm. Let's see. So I see you got to see the dingbots do their little thing and which is so worth it. I thought it was so funny when it the first time I saw it. Oh, um, coffee. Okay. Uh, I need more artifacts. Uh, oh, now. Um, oh, I can't do it up here. Um, I can go back to Chronomira and I can get more books, which I promise I won't read out loud to you guys. Can you imagine if I sat there and read the entire Girl Genius comic series? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do a full completion of the game, including reading the entire Girl Genius comic series. <laughs> no. Uh, wasp head. I'm not really familiar with this one, but from what I've heard, this might be a warrior of the other. I don't recall much of my destruction, but I understand people blame this mysterious figure. <laughs> If this is true, I'd be glad to decorate my halls with their skulls. Oh, now I want one for my my mask wall. Ooh. Um, let's see. What else have we read? This one. Yurt. Oh, you found that, did you? What is this? Only the ultimate perfection in the realm of portable housing. No stairways or windows. Imagine, I could finally travel. Ah, no kidding. Um, let's see, what, are there any others that we found since, what's this? Oh, the left shoe. Igneous's left shoe. Oh, good. I was afraid we'd lost all trace of Igneous. With this, we might still have an anchor for him to find his way home. Huh, wasn't he disintegrated? And most members of the family have been disintegrated at least once. Oh, I didn't know that. Um... Oh, Phil was collecting masks when I met him, and I also collect masks. So, um, yeah, we have a whole lot of, it's, um, it isn't just a mask wall. It's um, an entire room that's mostly masks, and then throughout the house, the rest of them are salted around. Mm. And some of them are like, um, you know, Majora's Mask Zelda game ones, and some of them are actual, like, a lot of them are the kind of thing that people make to sell to tourists. Like, oh, you like our masks, and you um, dragged a bunch of them home to your museums in the last century. Awesome, thanks. Anyway, here are some that we made just to sell to you. Um, and they're just, you know, they're just tourist masks, in other words, which is fine. I think tourist masks are cool. Um, but to be honest, I would really like to know a little bit more about some of the tribal masks we have, even if they're just tourist ones. Um, because, you know, it's, it's interesting. And most of my tribal masks have come from thrift stores and, you know, well, mostly thrift stores, yeah. Uh, and so I have to admit, I'm like, man, I would like to know more about these. And I don't feel like I know as much as I ought. Um, but I love them, I love their faces, and I think it's such an interesting human impulse to make masks. So, um... 
I I like to make them when I can, and I like to buy interesting ones when I find them in, out in the wild. Um, I found a really good um, one from, it's clearly from India, although I don't know much about what part of India, because India is huge. Um, but I got it at a garage sale recently, and I'm like, oh, this is a neat one, and I love his face. Um, so yeah, anyway, the point is our house is probably super cursed, uh, but but I, I doubt it. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm probably, I, what I'm planning on doing um, for a stream thing for the second part of October is... Um, I was thinking I would read Frankenstein because I really like it and I would like an excuse to read it. Um, it won't be this time slot, it'll be something different and I haven't decided, I'll probably just do it like at, at an earlier time slot. Um, but I have to go to a convention this weekend, uh, so it'll be after that. Uh, but I would really love to read Frankenstein again. and. Um, it's right on brand, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Um, but I'll talk about it more when it comes to it. Oh yeah, see these guys have respawned. Um, okay, I want to go talk to Chronomira. I think this is the right way. I'm not sure. Uh, it's not. It's not the right way. Um, is there? A... Okay, I think I can get there. Um, no, actually, what I'm going to this weekend is, um, it's a, uh, uh, it's a commander thing. It's a, it's a Magic the Gathering thing in Portland, and I don't usually do magic, um, anything much, really. Um, but they happen to ask us at a time when we're kind of getting back into the whole, um, magic thing. Um, I don't know. And um, to be honest, it's a time when we really desperately need some money. We, we need some money. So, um, you know, it's, it's an awful reason to do something, but I think it'll be fun. Um, it's a good excuse to get back to the um, world of magic, which I have been away from for a long, long time. Um, and we've got some play mats to, uh, to sign and, and sell. So, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to go out. Oh, and, oh, I forgot. There's this thing I'm collecting. It's so awesome. Okay, okay, I have to tell you about the thing I'm collecting. Um, <laughs> and I have to try to find the uh, stairs while I do it. There they are. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Um, all right, so there is this artist, um, and I do not remember his name because I am a terrible person. But uh, he makes these big wooden trolls. And uh, so some folks who've been, been paying attention to my ramblings for many years probably know that I really love um, the Scandinavian troll folklore. I love, I love um, Nordic trolls and always have. And so um, we got a troll um, out here in, um, in, right out by the Nordic Heritage Museum. And I just discovered it um, like a couple of weeks ago. I, I happened upon it um, and was like, whoa, that wasn't here last week. Uh, and so I got pictures of the troll, but there's like five others in the area. Um, and one of them is down in Portland. So when I'm down in Portland, I am going to collect that troll, which just means I'm going to take a picture of it. Um, and so let's, uh, oh, hello, dear. Looking for literature? Yes, we are, Chronomira. Please sell us some comic books. Uh, I'd like to know how, if I'm going to get out of this, uh, let's see if I, how much. I sure hope I don't need any materials for anything else, because now I'm going to spend all my all my loot on, on comics. Uh, oh, no, did I? That one looks different. Oh, I see. They're bigger once I... Oh, this is an excellent place to tell everybody that um, all of the older PDFs on drivethroughcomics.com, um, and there's a link on the Girl Genius website, uh, are half off through October. 
because I uploaded some newer ones. I uploaded volumes 21, 22, and the Franz story. And so I put all of the older stuff, including Buck Godot, on for half off. Um, because again, <laughs> we, we need money. Uh, yeah, la la la. So, um, so PDFs. But you can also read it for free in game. So, uh, or, you know, on our website. I mean, you can do that too. It's fun. Uh, am I going to be able to buy all of these? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Island. Oh, and then this one. Here's a little bit of um, here's a little bit of trivia for you. When I turned this in for the the game, I had called volume twenty two the hunt for Prende's lantern. But when I was getting it together um, for for drive through comics, uh, I changed the name. So now volume twenty two is called. Um, the chronometric lantern expedition uh because until it's in print i can never decide what i'm going to do but so there's a little trivia yeah, it's all good um there and then we have nuts and bolts which has the cinderella story the weasel queen uh, and the ivo shark tooth story um so there i've bought all the comics and now if i were to um go back uh, to the comfy room um but but yes, um, I am on the the troll quest and um, let's see. <laughs> um, so ordinarily, what I'm hunting when I'm when I am on my hunting expeditions, um, I hunt dragons. And this is this is just like I like to take walks, and so I I have I am constantly on a dragon hunt. And if I see a dragon in the wild, I will take a picture of it. Um, I have not taken a picture of the dragon that is a decal on one of my neighbor's gas caps on their car because I'm afraid that they'll come out and see me taking a picture of their car and that would be really uncomfortable to explain. So I haven't done that but I know where it is and um, otherwise though I, I run around looking for... Are you drawing kitties Phil? Oh boy. Phil, Phil is drawing moggies for me to, uh, so that I have them to put up on our Patreon. Um, our Patreon has a, a couple of little extras, um, and one of them is that uh, the little D&D cats, um, the little D&D cats of Moggy Guard um, are something that I've been putting up the drawings on Patreon. Um, we haven't really done anything to show the world with that one yet, but it's an idea, it's a thing we're working on, so it's very cute. Um, and, and they're very, they're very cute little sword and sorcery kitties. Um, but so far all they are is a bunch of funny little sketches that Phil's been doing for the patrons. Um, all right. So anyway, I went and I bought the rest of the, the books and, um, you know, I Gil and Tarvik, they'll be fine, right? It's just fine. It's fine. Let's go back in here. I think I can go back. Um, okay. I can shortcut down here um there we go so one uh the last are um hmm. yeah oh there's a challenge there's a new challenge uh, okay ah of course it helps if i actually have the right thing up and running i am not going to get so you have to get all of the challenges um, and that's frankly kind of hard Ugh, see I got hurt so I won't get the don't get hurt challenge for this one Ugh. super good at the arena challenges. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Okay. So, uh, 
Um, anyway, let's see. I think I was talking about my dragon hunt. Uh, so yeah, I, I like to uh, I like to hunt dragons, um, and uh, it's it's just a dragon safari where I just take pictures of them, and uh, it's it's fun. That's all. That's really all it is. This is fun. Um, it gives me something to do when I'm walking around. Um, you'd be amazed. Well, maybe you wouldn't be amazed, actually. People love dragons, so they're all over the place, and you can find them out in the wild all over, um, especially if you're willing to um, uh, kind of um, widen your, uh, I, I don't know, like your, your criteria. So, like, yeah, uh, there's, like, there's one painting down in Ballard that's, like, Technically, I'm like, I don't think that's actually a dragon. I think that's like a, an Indonesian, you know, critter of some kind that I don't remember the name of offhand. But I'm going to count him because he's cool and I wanted a picture of him, so. There. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got gold in that one. That's something. Uh, but now I am like, okay, I'm going to extend my, my range and I'm going to t hunt all the trolls as well. I got the one in Ballard. Uh, there's one out in Issaquah. There's one out on Vashon Island. There's uh, one down in Portland. And then I forget. Oh, there's one out in West Seattle, I think. Um, okay, I got So I got that. I got that. Um, oh, this one's really hard. Um, Let's see, how's my death rate doing? No, I'm not gonna get the timer on this one. Oh. Um, and then it turns out that actually, oh, well, so much for getting don't get hurt. Um, man, these guys, they just... Ugh, they are not my friends. Uh, these guys are pretty easy to beat. But the stingrays ruin everything. Um, Safari limited dragons. I don't know what they are. Um, you're gonna have to tell me more about what Safari limited dragons are. Are those the little plastic ones that, um, are, that are like little kids toys? Because if that's what we're talking about here, the little the little plastic um, ones, um, then like half of them are on my Christmas wish list. Uh, <laughs> but um, right, there we go. Oh no no. Uh, yeah, the high-end plastic animals. Okay, no, I don't think I have any of their dragons. Um, when my kids were small, in fact, when I had only one kid, um, and he had to go to the pediatrician, as one does, um, because, you know, getting his shots, whatever. Um, I used to, th at that time, his doctor was right over the t there was a toy store and so when he got his shots after a doctor visit we would take him to the toy store and he would get some little plastic knights and so we still have a bin full of little plastic knights and um, now uh, after a while right when my kids were a little too old for them uh, we have a couple of the cool ones that have like lion heads or we have one guy that has like an alligator head um, but, um, yeah, hmm. um, oh, look at that. See, that's why I don't use the wrench ring much, because my aim is bad. Um, ugh. ha, take that. Um, anyway, when, uh, after, at a certain point, they started um, making like really cool fantasy stuff. And yeah, now I'm pretty sure it's the same company. They make these amazing, um, uh, like fabulous dragons. Yeah, and they're really expensive. And I don't remember that the knights were that expensive. I do remember that um, 
back in the day when my kids were little, the it was all pretty standard, like knights and horses, and there was like a king and a queen, and my kid wanted he wanted an evil princess. He wanted an evil princess, and they did not make an evil princess. And I was like, look, here she is. She's pink, you know, and she looks nice. But that's because this princess is sneaky. She's evil. She just knows not to look evil. And, you know, it's funny because, like, five-year-old or four-year-old, my four-year-old kid totally bought it. Was like, okay, evil princess, you got it. Here she is. We still have the evil princess. She looks very sweet. Later they did make some, uh, oh, good night, good night. Have a good night. Thank you for coming in. I know this gets a little late. I think when I do the, um, when I do the Frankenstein reading, I'll start, I'll do it a little earlier in the evening. Um, so that, you know, because I'm on the West Coast and so my, my early evening is everybody else's late evening. Uh, all right. I don't. Remember, I need to get back to the Red Playroom, right? Yes, return to the Red Playroom, and we need one more masterful painting. Oh, dear. I wonder where it could be. Um, but, yeah, the, the dragons are really neat. There's one that I really like that's all leafy. It's like a, a, a druid's dragon. Um, and, and, yes, they're all on my, like, wish list, you know, because yeah, their little suckers are expensive and and to be honest, I do not need a bunch of plastic dragons. I have too much stuff in my house. Uh, let's go back to the red playroom. Uh, I hope I didn't miss the last... No. Surely I didn't miss the last portrait. I don't even remember where we are in the plot. I think everybody's... What's that purple thing? Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. All right. Um, okay, let's go see how the boys are doing. I think we're going to get another big cut scene. Um, all right, time to get this operation underway. All right, this is going to require some actual voice. Oh, oh hey, Cross. What's, what's up? Hello, kitty. Hope it works this time. I hate the smell of burnt hair. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything to say to me? Uh, everybody looks pretty calm. Let's see, Zetha ran off already, didn't she? Agatha, you're back! I knew that Mammoth was lying! <laughs> ha! Don't listen to them, Amadeus! An ascot is perfectly informal in any civilized... <laughs> Okay, seems I made it just in time. Places, people, let's get it right this time. I hope I didn't miss any dialogue. Firing up the steam engines. Ne neutral link established, synchronizing waves, oscillation commencing. What the drivel? I mean, transponders active! <laughs> Line impending, Reese's citation modules charged, calibrating sinister laughter. Hehe, <laughs> that tickles. I can't feel any. Ugh. Everybody else clear. Oh, there we go. We got a big zap. Ha! Whoa. Oh, hey, their shirts are off. Uh, everyone, all right. Did anyone get the number of that donkey cart? Impressive. That might might be something to your, your claim. Oh, stop it. I barely even used my wrench. Um, anyway, the colors have stopped. You both look... You both look good. Oh, I don't know if they meant it like that. <laughs> oh, I feel like an empty dishwasher. Okay, this line, I kind of wondered. I'm like, do we have dishwashers? I mean, I guess we would. We totally would have dishwashers, right? Um... Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, um, I mean, you know that some spark would have invented dishwashers. Um, I, I kind of wonder if the dishes come through safely, though. It seems like half the time maybe they wouldn't. Hmm. Also, if you don't empty the um, the dishwasher, um, the, the the filter, you will get some kind of weird creatures. 
Uh, uh. Sounds like you're back to normal then. A pity. <laughs> the readings are stable, but what's going on with the castle? It suddenly went dark until you returned. Well, I might have shut down the castle's intelligence, but I found a better one. This head, look, it's, it's complicated. I need to get this thing to the library and everything will be in order. You killed the castle? Amazing. Not killed. Only sidelined a lost system. You could not comprehend my true, true form. Oh, well, you look far easier to kick. I'm sure there will be plenty of time for kicking later. Let's just... Just let me settle in first. Zetha still hasn't returned with Pinky? Zul is harmless, mostly, unless she's singing. Back in Paris. <sighs> I wouldn't underestimate her. She's already surprised you once. Shoot, I don't have voices for these guys. <sighs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Return to your mother's lab. There is a passage that le leads to the library there. Great. If everyone behaves, I'll bring back cake. <laughs> well, you know, where are you gonna get cake? Oh, we're just gonna leave them on the slab, huh? That's fine. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Huh. Five more minutes, I'll be with you soon. I must still be delirious because I can swear the head you are carrying is a legitimate Van Rhyne. Sorry, Tarbeck, we broke it. Okay. I hope the castle behaves. I hope this castle behaves well, the, better than the previous one. I wouldn't bet on it, though. The cake is not a lie. There will be cake. There will be cake. Later. I hate to see you go alone, but these fools will be useless for a while longer. That's true. Okay, you, you just keep an eye on them. Uh, anything I can read? Anything I can do? I can get more coffee. Let's get more coffee just in case. Um, wait, where am I going? Oh, right, I'm going... Oh, cross. Hey, cross. Not bad, but I'm still waiting to see the pantry. Aw, kitty. <laughs> bad kitty. Um, how do I get back? Okay. Uh, is it up here? No. Yes. Um, hey! Oh, oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, um... Okay, I have to go back to Lucretia's lab, so I need to go find the stairs. There they are. There are the stairs. Alright. Did I... I was already downstairs. Yes, okay. And I got the last ding pot. Okay. Gosh, I might be farther along than I thought. Oh, no! <laughs> yes, you should absolutely give Violetta a sharpie and, and, and let her go to town and draw funny squiggles on Tarbe. That's such a that's like an anime trope. The whole um, drawing on someone's face. I love it. Okay, let's go to Lucretia's lab. Um, okay, we looked at this one. Let's make sure. Yes. Okay. Hey, Phil. Hey. Oh, what you got? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here, give me one of the older ones, and I'll show them a, I'll show them one of the moggies. Uh, I, I won't show them the, the... That one's for patrons, though. So I'll show them one of the older ones. Um, I want to be a surprise. Oh, okay, here we go. Phil's, Phil's drawn me some, some new kitties, so I'm going to show you some kitties. I'm totally stalling. Um, all right, here we go. Now, here we, I'm going to hold it up and hope that the camera, also the camera is mirroring. Um, that's not really, okay, let's get some light on it. There we go. So here's, um, eh, there. Uh, there we go. Phil has drawn some uh, some little kitty dwarves. I kind of I I feel like they need bigger beards. I don't know. I, I like dwarves with beards. So, uh, but this this guy here, he's about to have a really bad time. So, that, that's the kind of stuff that um, Phil has been drawing 
for me to uh, sorry about the quality there I know it isn't really great but um, I, I am very fond of, um, of dwarves and if the humans didn't have um, the humans in World of Warcraft have a, a racial advantage that gives them like 10% on um, reputation and I am really big into reputation grinds in it so I, I have a, a human at the moment but otherwise I would be playing a dwarf all the time. Uh, I have a beautiful dwarf princess with a long flowing beard um, in, in World of Warcraft uh, and I absolutely love my dwarf. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you'll see, you'll see the, so the dwarves, the kitty dwarves have already been on Patreon, so I wasn't going to show one of your newer ones, but, uh, yeah, the patrons will get a couple of, um, before I go to this convention this weekend, I'll get, um, Fridays and Mondays pages up, so that'll be good. So, yeah, basically, if you play a human, you, um, you spend less time on a rep grind, and it's, um it's nice so that's fine uh, but having a, a high rep means that you can uh, I, I collect mounts and pets and toys and things of that nature I am not a good player I am just a dedicated player <laughs> I don't go into dungeons people would <laughs> want to harm me um <laughs> <clears throat> I solo dungeons when I'm strong enough. That's pretty much how I play. Uh, so here we are in a new area. I like it in here. But this is this is looking ominous. We've got oh, my mother's study. Looks like she forgot to turn something off. Y yes, I need you to d destroy it. Oh, why? It, it is a puppet usurper imposter. Lucretia created it to replace me. She pulled me from my true structure, buddy. That ghost is false under her control. Okay, so Lucretia was working on building something to take over the castle. An imposter, huh? I know how you feel. D destroy it! I will not be a puppet. With pleasure. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like that Zola has a light motif. Ah, thank you. The timing was perfect. I could not have staged it better myself. And well done finding Auntie's hideout so quick. It would have taken me ages. You're really just a doll. <laughs> there she goes. But the spotlight's shifted now. Exit stage left and all that. I'll handle the rest. And do get some beauty sleep, dear. You look like you need it. <laughs> yeah, from what I understand, World of Warcraft players really expect you to know the dungeons and be good at what you do. And I'm just like, I, I'm not. I'm just not. I don't have time. I haven't learned it. You'd think in all these years I would have learned it, but... Eh. Uh, get up now! Ugh, why is her bomb perfumed? This is never going to wash out. That's it. I am tossing that pink hussy out the next window I see. Whew. We we are only on the first floor. We can go higher. Oh, we discovered some lore. Okay. Lore. Ding, ding, ding. You know, I might be done with this game fairly soon. I might be uh, having to come up with something else to stream a little sooner than I thought. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Um... Mm. So the, uh, the fact is that there's so much World of Warcraft at this point that you don't have to play with other characters, uh, other players, unless you want to. Um, I, and like if you want to be doing current content and actually playing in, in the dungeons and the, the raids that are current, which I, I just don't because I'm not going to inflict myself upon folks. I know they wouldn't like it. Um, so I just go do old stuff, and there's so much old stuff that I could be a tourist and just have a good time and, and log in when I want to. And, uh, oh, that's for the dingbot. <sighs> okay, so here is a thing. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever looked at this before. What does it say? What could that device do exactly? 
it, it was created to mimic my functions. It is a slave of Lucretia, who, whoever implants it. If it is successfully uploaded into my main system, the castle and all my subsystems will be enslaved. You, you cannot allow this. Okay, so yeah, we, we a little. I think they've upped the stakes a little. This is kind of game. It's game specific. Let's go into lore and see what we've got. We've got some. some oh, we've got Zola. Let's see. Did we already read some of this? Zola Malfesium. She is the key piece of a greater conspiracy years in the making. The daughter of Demonica Mungfish, Lucretia's sister, making her Agatha's cousin. She was raised to withstand Lucretia's strange machinations and eventually to master them. Her mission was to play a lost heterodyne heir and bring the castle heterodyne to heal. With the power and knowledge housed in the castle, she has the hope of succeeding where Lucretia failed, garnering eternal adoration and power over the people of Europa. The ah, wait, come back. Um, da, 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 wait. Um, oh, where did I lose it? Um, to garnering the eternal adoration and power over the people of Europa. The plan to appear as a long lost heterodyne heir was going to take was going quite well until Agatha decided to get involved and forced her to take premature actions. Okay, so yes. Zola isn't quite done though. She's she's still uh she's still a problem. Let's see. Um do -do 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 -do. Ooh, and there we go. This is for me. Uh, Lore, yes. Oh hello, welcome and thank you for joining us. <laughs> Um, uh, I was tempted to do a little uh, a little streaming. I just like start a new dwarf character and and do some streaming um, of my of my World of Warcraft adventures. But uh, I'm kind of afraid people would be really really annoyed if they saw how badly I played. So I'm kind of like oh, I don't know. Mm. Um. It's almost as if she lived in here. Guess my family was never big on family. Your, your father did leave off, did offer paternity leave to the seahorse constructs. Oh, well, that's nice. We had seahorse constructs. I guess that explains that one, dude. Um, that is the thing about um, Europa is that people just don't, they, they just don't bother. They don't worry about it. They're like, yeah, all right, you got a seahorse head. That's cool. Lucifer and Lucrezia Mongfish. This is my grandfather with my mother. She looks happy. I almost can't believe the stories they tell now. Oh, believe it. Um, hmm, let's see. Oh, another frosted mirror. Don't want to let those vampires loose. Or I guess you want to leave the vampire, let the vampires loose, so you frost the mirrors so that they'll be comfy. Oh, here we are. We're so fancy. We're the fanciest. Oh, so fancy. We can zip through them all, but this is the fanciest. Okay, where was that treasure? I don't know. I don't think we need any materials anymore. I think we got everything. Uh, yeah, there's got to be some more Weasel Queen. Um... I'm sure there was some Weasel Queen in here. I think I haven't looked at all the books yet. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So this is, I like, um, I just like looking at everything. I like, I like the, oh, well, that's what I was saying earlier in stream where I was talking about, I like um, haunted house. Um, I like haunted house stories because I like exploring and I like I like it when there's a movie and they do a really fancy ornate house that you can look at. Uh, excerpt, there you go, there it is. Excerpt from *Revenge of the Weasel Queen*, Book Three, Chapter Three, Epilogue. And thus the Weasel Queen would no longer terrorize the town of Zoggletonk. It was neither brains nor brawn that defeated the beast, but simple recognition of her beauty. Or more precisely, the beautiful and fashionable deconstruction of postmodern faux nouveau that her outfit symbolized. She retreated to Paris to pursue her fashion, leaving the dull town behind. One of the better endings to the story I've heard, but I prefer the one with the wrist-mounted carrot shooter. 
You would, Agatha. Um, all right, so this is very nice, but I think I've got everything else in here. I'm not sure. Let's see, anything on there? Oh, there's another thing to open. This is where, like I said, video games have made me suspicious, so I always feel like I have to go back and look. And look behind. Look behind. Oh, right. That's, um... Ooh, there we go. Yeah, um, I know. I can't get the big hammer. I want the big hammer. Let's see. Is this what the way we came in, or did we come in there? I don't remember. I think it's this way. I think we want to go this way. Um, oh, there she is. Hey! Oh, can't take the hint, can you? You're not wanted. You. So articulate, Agatha. Well done. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you through these metal bars. There she goes. Ah, oh, I'll wring her skinny neck. Agatha, over here. Zetha, where have you been? Oh, hi, Zetha. Sorry, she's more slippery than she looks, but now we can take her together. There goes Zetha. Great. I'll run ahead and cut her off. I'm eager to see what you've learned. All right, well, that area drove me nuts because I, I don't think I can actually get up there. I think that's just an area for Zetha to show up. Um, but I did try. Uh, oh, this giant... Uh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's the library. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm pretty sure that even with bombs, I can't get through here. But let's find out. Yeah, nah. One more try. All right. Nope. Oh, what's... Oh, look at all those roots. Oh, ooh, what's that? Ooh, skylight. Skylight. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, you should have seen this when it was in, um... When it was in development. Everything was very blocky. Uh, what? Ah! Ooh, I'm gonna be careful. Um... Okay. Oh, oh geez. Oh. Oh, I'll bet I can use these. Hey guys, come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I guess I can't use them if they're not gonna. Did it get them? Aw, oh, it didn't. Okay. I'm gonna get hurt in here. <laughs> this is what I get. I get careless. Let's see. Okay, so let's try the wrench array. Oh. Alright, they didn't even like that. Um. Hmm. Okay, so. I'm guessing that if I were a very clever player and could lure this guy under here. Oh, I, I could not have that happen to me. Um. Oh, nope, it didn't hurt him. Okay. I was kind of hoping that the uh, tentacles there would, would hurt this guy, but I guess their friend. Oh! oh. Alright. Let's get out of the way. Ah. Hmm. I know it drove me crazy. I tried so hard to get up there, and I'm like, no, you can't. You can't get up there. I asked. <laughs> oh, I, like this one. I shouldn't have said. Um, oh, that's nice. Somebody's been pressing flowers. I like it. I like that. I have uh, this huge dictionary um, downstairs that my, it used to belong to my grandparents, and it has, it still has in it all of these four leaf, four and, and six and seven and whatever, you know how clovers are. Um, all of these clovers that, um, and pansies that my grandma and I, um, we we put them between wax paper and pressed them in the dictionary when I was little, and um, I never really kept track. I should have written down like, oh, here we go. All right, ah, Zetha. That sounded bad. I've got to find her. All right, this is nice. Here's a grandfather clock. It's almost at midnight. Uh oh. Can I break it? No. Uh, <laughs> can I break the furniture? I don't know. Um, right, so there's a coffee machine, which tells me that we're going to find some things. What are these? Oh! 
Oh, is it coffee? It looks like coffee, doesn't it? Except it has little crust things. Um, okay, this is looking dangerous in here. Did that not... Did that not work on those guys? Hmm. I should have paid more attention. Either they recover quickly, or... Uh-oh. They don't! Okay, good. I have um, died in this area several times uh, just because I tend to be very careless and, uh, and a bit of a berserker when it comes to... Uh, Open the goodie basket. Um, oh yeah, no, I am absolutely just out of habit. I collect all the things. Um, it's it's just comes of many many years of um, many years of playing Zelda games and ending up with way too many. Um, I always end up with so much money and maxed out money. I kind of wish your life were like that. I want maxed out money. I could do so much stuff with it. Um, is saying something. It almost feels like he's saying something. nice to have unlimited health potions in this area. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where was I? Ah, oh, there he is. Look at him. He's just wandering around. Short attention span. There. Oh, it was only one more hit anyway. He still got me. Yeah, I just have to collect everything. It's it's a habit. Oh, there's another, um... Ooh. There's another, um... Uh, coffee machine over here and the herbatorium entrance. Hmm. All right. So yeah, that absolutely for all the world looks like you should be able to get up there. And oh, here's Zitha. Zitha, are you all right? She actually got me. Snuck up and took my blades. She's a sneaky one. Has to be well trained. How bad is it? Ha! Pride took the brunt of the damage. Ooh, part of it at least. I can't believe some blonde. I'll cut you off right there. Save your strength. I'll get her. She's waiting for you. In there. Zetha, why would you even make comments about some blonde? Shame on you. Oh, uh, good. I'm tired of chasing. I'll wipe the floor with that smug, but don't get cocky. <laughs> she hides it well, but she has some long sleeves. Fine. I should prepare a few tricks of my own. All right, yes, you should. Oh, Zitha has something else to say. Ah, try pulling her hair. That's a good trick. Zitha. All right, so this, this, I spent some time trying to figure this out, too. But I asked, and um, you can't go up there. 
you, you just can't. It, it isn't. It isn't set up to do that. But I did spend some time trying, and uh, and it does look like it should have gone up. I suspect that this is just a run out of time kind of thing because. Kenny seemed really annoyed when, when I, I mentioned it. He was like, ugh, yeah, that now. And I'm like, no, it's fine. It, it's fine. It, it, I just wanted to make sure. Because it really looks like I should be able to go up there, but I can't. So um, It doesn't actually bother me that there are places that it, it make it look like the area is bigger. So, uh, so I don't know. I think I should go in there. Let's see. I don't think I've found any more artifacts. Have I found any more artifacts since the last time? Hmm, I'm not sure how to check. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's probably fine. You are what you eat, so eat handsomely. <clears throat> oh, there she is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh still going. You are persistent, aren't you? Quiet, you pink tart. Leave my castle before I make you leave. You tell her either. Oh dear, you really have no clue who you're dealing with, cousin. I am Zola Anya Talinkavenya. Oh god, I, I guess I gave her these names. Um, Zemplinkia Malfisium, trained smoke knight and daughter of Devonica Manfish. Monf Demonica Monkfish. Crikey. Mm. <laughs> no one will ever hire me as a voice actor. Darn. And it's time to prune the family tree. Who is at my door? Who is at my door? Why am I... Uh-oh. Okay, no! <laughs> ha! It doesn't like the, uh... It doesn't like the lantern. I might die a couple of times here because I am not very good at this fight, especially if I'm curious about who's at my door. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Point blank. Okay. Um, that didn't even do anything, did it? Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay. Where'd she go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is she around? Oh, I had something happen once, but I thought it got fixed. Oh, there she is. Okay, good. Woo! In, in beta, I had a moment where um, Zolot would not show up to fight me, and and I kept, I, I was like, no, I'm stuck, but now she's fine. She's here. I just had a little moment of horror, like, oh no, maybe she won't show up. But now, oh jeez. Ah. Okay. Oh. Ha! <laughs> wow. Boy, I'm glad to have that, that death ray. Considering I, it supposedly cranks up to 11 and posts and punches holes in mountains. Um, okay, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Ah! You'd think I could crank it up high and put a hole in her, but no. Um, I guess I permanently disabled it to make the castle happy. Oh. Ah, she got me. Oh, and, and the little things that fly around you are the chicken clanks, which is very cute. Okay, come on. Oh, where'd she go? Ninja! Ah! Stupid ninja! Uh. Oh, there she is. Uh. But yeah, chicken clanks going around her head like tweeting birds. Oh, right. We go. This is a weak sauce death ray. Uh oh, I got her. Ouch! I'm going to feel that tomorrow. Ha! You'll be lucky if you even see tomorrow. Why are you still here? Ha! I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> well, there. <laughs> uh, there you go. It, it ha that, that's actually that is the best reason. You know, sure. It had a really big charge. 
built up, so it needs more time, which we do not have. And you're already too late. You're simply too thick to realize it. There she goes. Ah, I am not letting her get away again. Ooh, we got more lore. Lore, ding, ding, ding. I'm going to have to use the lore bell for... Um, uh, for some other game because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get close. Um, I think. Let's see. Mm, miscellaneous lore. Okay. Oh, Nepenthes Dulcis. All right, Nepenthes Dulcis is a rather large carnivorous plant known for its pe peculiar toxin that causes potential prey to get rather giddy and less opposed to being slowly digested. The plant found in Castle Heterodyne's Herbatorium has mutated, presumably influenced by the powers of the River Dyne. It is much larger than the plants found in the wild and seems to have developed a penchant for bruce brute physical harm over the distribution of toxins. Hmm. All right. I think that's... We still have a couple of... Oh. Giddy. Yes. Giddy. Whee! Okay, and I don't remember that there was much to find in here, although I do enjoy it. I think it's very pretty. It looks like we're outside in a nice... um. So we have this place in Seattle that I'd really, really like to visit. Um, and... I first saw it when it was being built, and I was taking the bus down to, um, to I think, SakuraCon one year, and so downtown to the convention center, but, um, and I was like, what the heck is that? Oh my god, because there are these, they, I'm, I'm afraid they call them, I'm sorry to say it, Bezos's balls, but um, they are these beautiful, round, spherical kind of glass, concrete, things that I guess are, I, I'm told, are really, really hot and muggy inside and kind of awful. But, um, yeah, the plant knows who's boss now. Boy, look out. Plant, I gotcha. It's, it's a good boy. It, it knows that I'm in charge now. Um, anyway, they're really cool and pretty, and I guess they have trees and things inside now, although when I first saw them, they were, um, they were new, and so... I mean, they were still being built, so they didn't have the glass in them. But I think they're really cool. Uh, but I guess they're connected with the Amazon somehow. Um. Oh, what? What's this? Okay. Wait. Uh. Isn't this where I just... Hmm? Okay. I kind of want to go buy more coffee. Um... Uh, you know, I, I'm going to be overly cautious because I don't remember what's on the other side of that door. I think I'm almost... I think I'm almost... Hey, Zetha, what's up? I'm just going to leave you there because I'm a bad friend. Uh, there. I can get Zetha some coffee. Zetha, drink some coffee. Oh, uh, yeah, I pulled her hair. It worked. Um, you go home. Okay, now I will go through that door. I don't know why I came back out through that door. Hmm. Um. Alright. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a nice place. I like it. Um. It's cozy. <laughs> I didn't find all of the portraits. Huh. Yeah, it's it's very pink. Well, I assume that um, Zola's been filling the place with gas or something. I don't know. Why was this one already broken? Why was not I able to break it? Oh, it has a hammer next to it. Somebody already did it. Oh, we have discovered the library entrance. All right. So we're almost, we're heading very close to the end. Although there's going to be some, some tidying up, um, even if I manage to... Hmm. Do I want to do that? Oh, here's another coffee maker. I guess I could have come up here. Um, let's see. I 
that's my biggest concern about picking another game to um, to stream is that I don't want to do one where I'm going to have to hammer away on something for a long time and, and be really bad at it because I think it would get really boring. <laughs> do I want to go in there? Do I want to go here? Ooh, I don't know. I need one more. Oh, yeah, I need the artifact from the... Well, I need the artifact from beating all of the things in the arena. Oh, here we are. Looking good. It's the library. Neat, it's very big. Oh, what happens if I... Hey, girl, where are you hiding? <laughs> she looks terrible. <laughs> Looking for me. I found a new toy. Let's play. That belongs to me. You better not break. Forget it. I'm in the mood for breaking things. I think, um, yeah, oh geez. Um, oh, what happens if I do this? Does it stun her? No, it does not. All right, if there is a way to tell them apart, I do not know what it is. Oh, uh, ah. Okay. Okay. Is it this one? Okay, let's hit her with the death ray. Hey! Okay. Uh oh. Chickens! 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 Uh, you gotta love the bosses that laugh at you. Uh oh. Ooh, she got me. Yeah, I might not. Um, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get killed and, you know, I'll try to beat her, but I'm kind of guessing that I won't manage to, uh, do this the first time around. Oh, uh, come, oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Um, oh. Oh, what? Both of us? Um. She doesn't hang around long enough to get hit with the death ray. Hmm. I'll bet I could hit those at her and probably do a little damage. Okay, that one had a... No, I guess not. Uh... Oh, there she is. Oh. So, I... Yeah, this is the final boss, I'm pretty sure. And I am not wonderful at fighting her. Let's see if I can... Oh, no. She gets away before I can charge the death ray. Um, this is getting boring. Let's raise the stakes. There she goes. Bye, Zola. Have a nice time. Agatha! I came as fast as I... Moloch! Do something! Oh, right. I'll raise the platform. I feel sorry for killing Tarvik in this. I think the developers thought it was funny that they're kind of useless. <laughs> they are bad at saving the day, but they can help later. It'll be fine. They, they help during the siege. Oh, still in the game, I see. Okay. <laughs> they're very mean to kill in <laughs> Oh, okay, there she is. Okay. Okay, death ray. It's not working. Okay. Okay, I just have to hit her with my wrench. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, where'd she go? Oh. Oh, crikey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Look at that. She does the superhero land. Awesome. Oh, I died. Wait a minute. Oh, did you know that more than half of all accidents happen at home? Funny that. Okay, so this is nice. We can retry the boss fight, which means we don't have to, um, uh, we don't have to go through all of that stuff again. Or we can resume from the latest save, or we can exit to the main menu. I think, actually, I'm going to resume from the latest save, and I'm going to run around and look for the last um, portrait that I missed and the last, um, some other stuff. Just because it'll make my life easier when it comes time to fight Zola again, 
and um, and we are kind of running up to um, nine o'clock and my dinner. So, well, I don't know if I should have my dinner or if I should eat one of these cookies that Phil brought me. I'm not really sure, but um, but yeah, let's let's chicken out for now and say, oh, Zola can just sit and read a book, and um, we will we will go do other things because I still need to find the last. Okay, now this part might get a little boring while I wander through the castle staring at the walls, but, um, you know, if anybody, so that's where the, the point is, like, if anybody has any questions to ask, or I can just natter about stuff. Um, yeah, so the problem with the, the Kickstarter and the stretch goals was this. This Kickstarter, the, the Rain Games' Kickstarter for, for this game happened at a time when there had been a couple of um, games Kickstarters that had not done, I mean, they had done really, really, really well. And then either the game didn't come out or the game came out and it was a little disappointing. And I know from listening to my kids who are super in the uh, in the loop on that kind of thing. Hey, Zetha, you should probably get back to base. Um, who are super in the, the loop on that kind of thing that um, the, the fans of games were not 100% fans of Kickstarter at that point. Oh, there's the there's the beast. There's the beast of the rails over there on the wall. Uh, so, you know, the Kickstarter did, you know, it did fine, and we got to do the game, and, and that was nice, but some of the more extravagant stretch goals we just didn't hit, and, you know, it's a shame, but it, it just, it was just kind of bad timing, really, um, and I, I kind of blame the fact that people were a little bit off game Kickstarters, uh, because we did have a happy... You know, I mean, we did pretty well. It just wasn't what earlier games Kickstarters had been doing. Um, and there was a period there where they were just... Uh, and I'm not talking about tabletop games, which actually still do pretty well. Um, it was a, specifically a video game thing. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, I think they did really well with, um, you know, for all that. And um, I really enjoy this kind. So, I'm... Like I said, I was thinking I need to figure out how to hook up my old uh, PS2 and then do some Ratchet and Clank, uh, because I think that would be a lot of fun. And I think, you know, it's it's another little character bouncing around with a giant wrench, and I think y'all would like that. Uh, the Ratchet and Clank games are a lot of fun. Uh, I love them. It's, uh, yeah. um, I mean, I'm so grateful that this... Um, I, I just love it. I love all the colors and the textures and the music and the, the type of gameplay and exploring. See, there wasn't a... I didn't miss a portrait in here, did I? There might be some... Uh, there might be some other secrets. I don't think the crown gets the Dingbot anywhere. I don't think. I don't think the day of the crown does anything for the dingbot except um, except lets you sit on the throne. But wouldn't that be a surprise if it turns out? Oh no, actually the crown lets you do some stuff. I like. I don't, I don't know. I didn't notice. I don't think so though. I think it lets you sit on the throne, which is very important. Oh, I started to tell you guys. Um. Uh. So this long, long ago long long ago uh, when I was playing World of Warcraft I ended up back when I was an orc um, as it happens um, so if, for those of you who don't know World of Warcraft it, it's um, a multiplayer a massive multiplayer um, RPG which means that you're playing there's a lot of other people whose characters are also running around the world when you're playing um, well one day I log I, I tried to go into um, one of the big dungeons or, or i think one of the big raids and so, some glitch happened and suddenly my character my character was alone in the world basically my character there was there were no npcs there were no other characters uh no other players just nobody the whole world was empty i was running around um 
I think this happened back... It happened during Warlords of Draenor, uh, which was several years ago, many years ago now, um, because I remember that my entire at that time you had a garrison it was like your little fort and your little character was like the commander of the fort but the world is huge right so i'm it was like the wow rapture it was bizarre and i spent a lot of time i i went through portals i went all over the place um there was nobody else there finally uh, so the other thing you need to know about world of warcraft is there are two factions there's the horde and there there's the alliance and the horde and the alliance don't like each other they fight it's very sad uh, but at that time i was an orc and therefore i was the horde and i um i went to stormwind which is the alliance capital city it's a big walled city with a big castle smack in the middle of it people i mean guards that will murder you on site nobody there so i'm like wandering around stormwind like i'm just an orc wandering around stormwind like going into the shops looking around there's nobody there and i'm like this is weird okay so you know meanwhile i can i can talk to people in chat so i'm like hey guys people in chat are y'all out there and they're like yeah we're here you know and i'm like i i can't see anybody this is bizarre and people are like lol go to stormwind which is why i went to stormwind right there because because the people that i was chatting with were like go to stormwind so i went to stormwind there's nobody there so i'm like i'm gonna go sit on the king's throne I'm going to go into the castle, and I'm going to sit on the throne of Varian Wren. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> and I walk in. Well, it turns out that there was someone else still in the world. King Varian Wren was still in the world, <laughs> and he killed my orc ass. <laughs> he did not like to see me. Um, so I, I have no idea what it was, okay? So was it a maintenance server? I do not know. But I got murdered by the King of Stormwind. Came back to life. Still nobody there. <laughs> you know, because I thought, I thought, surely I've died, right? And I've died to the king. So, like, by now, probably. <laughs> like, surely this will knock me out of whatever. No. So I'm like, all right, fine. So I'm, I'm exploring. I go all over. I'm running all over. I go, um... I go to Pandaria, which is um, kind of like fantasy China, and I'm like, well, I don't know, um, you know, what can I do? So I, 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 once again, I think I'm gonna be clever, and I go into the alliance, um, the alliance capital there. Uh, I think I was going to try to use their their portal. I don't remember why. And I go running in because I don't expect anybody there. And God damn it, if King Varian Rin isn't there and he kills me again. And I'm like, dude, it's you and me. If we're going to repopulate Azeroth, calm down. <laughs> but no. So uh, I guess he's not having it. So so I, I learned to stay out of the... Um, <laughs> I, I learned to stay out of the, the Alliance... Uh, uh, fortress in um in whatever in 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 pandaria so finally i'm like all right this is hilarious but i really need to like figure this out so i submitted a ticket i i submitted a, a customer's ticket and i'm like guys i i don't know i can't i can't do anything you know this is hilarious but i can't play the game and it, first of all, it took me submitting several tickets for anybody to even listen to me because they're like, oh, you need to restart. You need to like reinstall the game, you know, and, and this was persisting through like reinstalling the game. And finally, I got somebody's attention and I got <clears throat> I got a, um, a I heard back from like an actual customer service guy who was like laughing and, and sent me he sent me fish cakes. He said, oh God, I am so sorry. Everybody went fishing and they didn't tell you. <laughs> and and they're all, I, I have told them all to get back to work. Uh, so here's some, we, 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 we brought you some fish cakes. Here you go. Um, you know, everybody should be back now. And so whatever had happened, it took an actual 
an actual customer service guy to help me out, and he sent me fish cakes and a funny answer about and a funny excuse about why um, why everybody was missing. <laughs> Is there any way out of here besides this the room of Spike? Um, you you no, I could not talk in chat with Alliance folks. It was all just um, it was just the hordies um, and. I still have no idea what happened, but nowadays in um, on like on Reddit when people are talking about oh they don't have actual um, they don't have actual help anymore it's all uh, it's all automated I'm gonna die just from going across the spikes um, I I always remember that person that that sent me a funny a funny answer and um, and I appreciate their help because. I, and then, only then did I realize that there's an achievement I could have got uh, if I had um, got my little Red Rider, Rider, my Red Rider pistol, or it's, it's, a, it's a shotgun. It's a little shotgun that you get at Christmas time. And if I had gone back in, I could have, I could have shot the King of Stormwind with my little Red Rider pop gun and got the achievement. And by that time I realized that I needed to do that, it was too late. And the the devs had fixed my problem and I liked it. Oh, so I still don't have that achievement because it's a really hard one to get. You have to fight your way through all of the guards and get to the king and then pop him with your little pop gun. And um, yeah, oh well. But I, uh, I, I moved too soon. But I do have somewhere in all of my stuff, I have screenshots that I had to send them and say, guys, I, I don't know what to do, I'm stuck. <laughs> So seriously, where are the last of the, the portraits? I know I got this guy. Um, yeah, I need one more of them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, I... Okay. Hmm. Can't get that. I can't get back that way. Well, now it's just going to be an exploratory expedition. Okay, we saw it. We looked at Mike. Um, no! Ah! Okay. Um, look up there. I think we got everything there. Uh, and anyway, the King Bot doesn't find portraits. Agatha has to find portraits. Um, I wonder which one I don't have. I don't even know if I can get back this way. I think this might be a... Can I... Can I get back to the main part of the castle from here? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh it's nine o'clock. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's time for me to, uh... Time for me to resume later. Oh, uh, I got so into talking about my... Oh, really? There are some, there's a couple of places around Eastern Kingdoms that I'd love to get, but um, I can't, I used to drive myself crazy trying to, I wanted to get into the, uh, I'm going to put it on my face. Boop, there, there's me. I used to spend ages trying to get um, into the crypts under Karazhan, um, and I never managed to. There used to be all these things. I, I'm sorry, Blizzard. Yes, I tried to do the thing I'm not supposed to do, but I always failed. Um, but there are these crypts under Karazhan and you can see on YouTube where people get in and it's really cool and okay it's empty but it's really cool um, and there was this big puzzle a couple years ago where if you did the whole puzzle you not only got a really neat mount that's like it's this flying unicorn it's terrific but you get now permanent access and you can actually get into the Karazhan crypts and so I absolutely love that I can now go run around um, uh, I, I love that I can run around in uh, in the Karazhan crypts now and I still do sometimes just for fun uh, because I like it down there I never I've never seen another player down there um, even though I know that 
people can get down there now, but I've never seen anybody down there. And I always kind of hope that I'll be down there dancing or something and somebody will wander in because I am a great big tourist and I love um, the whole world in, in WoW and I love exploring. Um, yeah, I never got uh, behind the the um, the banks in the um, in Ironforge. Ironforge is my favorite city in all of WoW. It's the Dwarf Kingdom. It's under the mountain and I love it there. Uh, now they actually open things so you can go down into Old Ironforge, but I know that getting into Old Ironforge used to be this big secret thing that people used to do and when and it was really cool, but now nah, I've never managed to do anything cool like that. Uh, the weirdest thing that ever happened to me was when I, when suddenly everyone was gone and it was just me and um, and apparently according to the person at, at the, um, the employee at the company, they had all gone fishing and forgot to invite me, uh, which just is pretty typical really, uh, although I don't like fishing anyway, it's smelly, but um, yeah, so I still love going and I still love collecting the mounts and I love seeing everything and someday I'll get good at the game so that I can go into the um, raids with other players, but uh, right now that is not an option. <laughs> I don't have time to learn how to get good, <laughs> so uh, I, I'm just doing this. And uh, so I will be back next next Wednesday uh, for what is, will probably be the finale of the streaming of this game. Although I I do need to um, find that last portrait, so I'm not really sure sure where it is but we will find it together because this is the pokey playthrough and it is not there's no time limit um yeah I, it probably is um is it what is oh golly hey victor yeah he's not here i don't remember the name of it but down in stranglethorn uh there's this big troll raid and it's like zolgarov or something i forget which I forget the name of it. You'd think after all these years of playing, I'd remember what it's called, but I don't. And it happened when I came across there from the other side, from around where Karazhan is, and I flew over the raid. And then I flew down through the gate, and then I tried to go back in, I think. And I was like, that's weird. The, the, the raid isn't loading for me. Okay. And then, yeah, it is Zulgarub. Okay, good. I'm not insane then. And um, thank you. And um, and I, I thought I'd forgotten, but I remembered. So yeah, I, I flew across it the whole raid from the other side through the gate. And then I turned around and I threw, flew back through the gate because I thought, oh, while I'm here, I'll go see if I can get that mount or whatever the heck I was trying to do at the time. And um, and the, the raid didn't load. And I flew back and then the NPC that's usually out there wasn't there and I was like this is super weird and then I started flying around and noticing that nobody was anywhere and that is what but I have tried to repeat it <laughs> I mean I, I tried to repeat it then because I remembered that I, I had my red rider gun and I wanted to get the king and um, it, it didn't um, it didn't load uh, so I was never able to repeat it. And now it's many, many iterations of the game since, and there's no way it would happen again. But um, yeah, it's a fond memory, though. I, I loved that that person who had to answer me and had to write a funny reason why, why that happened. Um, okay, anyway, I'll be back next week. Uh, the game is playable on Steam. The game is playable, game is playable on, on um, GOG.com. Um, the game will be coming out this winter for the Nintendo Switch and you can pre-order a um, you can pre-order your your hard copy of that like an actual physical copy um, I have links on our Girl Genius website uh, I have made a beautiful page if you click shop on the top of the Girl Genius website you now get to a space that has links to all of our licensees, um, the including like our Etsy folks that that make cute little little figurines and little felted things, and um, our 
Um, and then our game folks and our PDFs, which are half off right now, most of them, not, not the newer ones, but the older ones are half off. Um, I've been selling a bunch of original art. Um, the, you know, there's, there's just a lot there and I, I feel like I really want to do right by our licensees. So I've been making, um, like I said, I, I tidied up that page and made it nicer. Um, and, um, that's about it. Um, I Like I said, next week I'll probably finish this game up, and then I'll have to think of something else when I get back from this thing down in Portland, this Magic the Gathering Commander Challenge thingy down in Portland. I will um, probably start... I, I want to do like a read-to-everybody-at-bedtime kind of thing with, with Frankenstein. So um, now that I've said it out loud, I have to do it, so that's good. I've been kind of like, oh, chicken, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, and, uh, but I will talk more about that later. So I, I will say good night and, um, let's see. Hoo -hoo. I will say good night and thank you for watching. And, um, I really appreciate everybody coming and watching while I learned to, um, learn to play with Twitch. And, uh, this is a lot of fun. So goodbye. Good night. Um, see you next time.